I got to carry this dick around every day of my life. So anything <laughs> else that, that fucking hangs off of me, I, I try to, to get rid of it. I think Bobby's just yeah. pandering to try to be the show intro. S C U. You are now listening to Shattercast. I got prepared to be shattered with your host, Matt Baldwin, Skullface, Greg for Mercy, Oscar NJ Boy, T2 RX6, Mega A1. Welcome to Shattered Cast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shattered Cast Uncut, the number one Transformer podcast. You want the best. You got the best. It's obvious. We're in episode 13, Evil Numbers. Oh, my God. The number of Satan is here. As always, I am your host, the man calling the shots and introducing everybody, Oscar Alonzo, also known as Oscar and J-Boy, animator, comedian, extraordinaire, and soon-to-be very good and pulled-off parody artist. Joining me, as always, amongst the ranks is one of the other members of the Sinister Six, the one, the only, he's one of the co-founders, Mr. Skullface. Uh, what's up, everybody? I got a Shattercast t-shirt on, and Leo Ducks is in stock. Biatch. Rock 25. <laughs> and, of course, always following close behind him, sharpening his shank for him, and always making sure he never runs out of ammo in first-person shooters. He is everyone's <laughs> favorite internet troll, and he's my cuddle buddy when a girlfriend's not here. Greg of Mercy for Mercy, whatever. Um, well, since uh, oh well, yeah, I, I you yeah, know it's it's fine. Turn so, it well, I was gonna point one. out that Satan's number six six six, but you know whatever. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your feels. Don't take Satan <clears throat> away from us, Greg. I love Satan <laughs> and babies. <laughs> Baby Satan. And the next guy, he is everyone's favorite Hasbro endorser. He proudly has a Hasbro logo on top of his ceiling, right above his bed. So whenever okay. him and his wife make sweet love, he can look at it and smile just as brightly as that logo. He is everyone's favorite pro Hasbro. The guy who gets a bigger stiffy for botcons than Vangelis. A uh, Mr. <laughs> Deluxe a Matthew. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> you saying? This motherfucker, man. <laughs> that's, that's why he hosts. We are going to get sued. And speaking of getting sued, we can always go to this guy. He probably knows a friend or two in the realm of law. He is everyone's favorite official YouTube reviewer. We all respect him. He's known as Mr. Fixit on TFW boards or even on that shoddy knockoff website, Sabertron.com. But he is everyone's favorite soft spoken ladies' man. Uh, Mr. T2RX6, we also call him Justin. I was just going to try to be as quiet as possible, but I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, I save the best for last. Mm. He is the panty dropper. Mm. He is the news hound. Mm. Ain't scared to let it told how it is. <laughs> when I say praise the Lord, he says Amen. I give him $20, and he tells me, Oscar, I say, yes, sir. He goes, I'm going to throw this 20 in the air. And if God wants it, he's going to keep it. If he don't want it, this shit's going for Leo Ducks. He is everyone's <laughs> favorite adult of uh, Mega 81 Antoine. What's going on? What's going on? This your boy Mega. <laughs> he's the only guy I know that's approached a woman and said, and pull the whole preacher bit out. He goes, and you know what I want you to do later when you get all hot and you get all bothered? I want you to take this card and I want you to, and I want you to call me. I want you to call me. And my then, mind's I, telling me no. But my, my body. body my, my body. Is telling me I'm getting your butt. Oh, boy. Oh my god, my face hurts from smiling. We are making it like such a perv. And this is the guy who makes, who says maybe 12 words total per podcast. <laughs> So we have a wonderful episode 13 And I do apologize for last week I was severely under the weather Must be love in the air mm. Winking at the girlfriend <laughs> I'm sorry And uh, Yeah, there she gives me the finger <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and get the ball rolling Because uh, someone went ahead and dr Let the cat out of the bag In the face of the person that's allergic to one uh, Mr. Skullface T-shirts are a go You previewed prototypes it's looking very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they are. Uh, they're in. They're good. Um, 
we uh, they're available. I'm wearing one tonight to the uh, Captain America premiere. And uh, what else did I want to say? They uh, we're also going to look into somebody. Shout out to I am Ratchet. Um, he put us in touch with a, a different vendor, so we're going to check out that vendor as well. Um, but yeah, they're good stuff. I've already got like six phone numbers from some hot uh, whores. Right. Further to that. prove the point that if you own a shattered cast uncut t shirt rock twenty five, the internet pussy will roll. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> totally not cool to call your daughters like that. Oh. 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 Wow. That, she's had a she's had a she's a man, she's had a rough week this week and now you're making it worse. Wow. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> leave it up to Justin to make it dark real fast. I know, man. Always well, the light, I, lightest, I, lightest voice with the darkest content. I expect mm-hmm. that from Greg. Not uh, not from you. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. You fucking deep. <laughs> well, I actually thought it, um, and I didn't even fucking say it. <laughs> wow. And now I regret not saying it. <laughs> is is it weird that I'm slightly turned on by that? And I'm just gonna shit up it. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so uh, the shirts. Uh, what sizes do we have them in so far? Uh, small through double X, and we are um, hopefully with this with this other guy that we're looking into, he'll be able to get some of the the big boy sizes. We've had some requests for some big boy sizes and. Uh, well, some of our in, a, in, a, in a nerd genre, go figure. But uh, so we're gonna look into that. Well, go figure. Some of our best fans are big boys, anyway. I mean, hell, our... so, so most of us are big boys. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't think anyone here's got a six pack except for Justin. <laughs> oh yeah. Screw it's you and fridge. your well toned ass. Yeah. In the fridge. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, everyone knows God. about Deluxe's days as a bodybuilder. Mm. So I want to go ahead and, and sort of talk about that. It'll be made available on the website. We'll be, excuse me, we'll, we'll have more information for you guys to check out, uh, obviously on our Facebook page or on our Twitter and our Tumblr um, as time moves on. Um, I would like to touch upon this because I discovered this today while having an extraordinarily long day at work. Um, the newest pirate team for the BotCon set is uh, Scorpionok, drape, Energon Scorpionok, draped in G1 colors, and he's a headmaster. And I am, I mean, really, it took them this fucking long to kind of put two and two together and get four finally instead of six. You know, I, I like the fact that they at least made him a headmaster. That's at least something they've done right finally, but. Uh, yeah, I guess. Still not I, I, yeah. I, tell you, I just don't, I don't like this. I think I was telling them I was like uh, before the show I was like I'm gonna call this guy Monkey Man, Monkey Man. <laughs> just, like like the fucking arms look like <laughs> you know I'm not familiar with the other molds and all that so whatever but um it's like uh, I don't know like the the hands it's just like <laughs> it's just like I don't know people are all excited about it I, I guess you know good for you guys but this is a this is nonsense to me to me personally. It- uh, you know, I look at it and, and it's like I I had the Energon Scorpionok and I remember I got him at a flea market for like two bucks and he was missing like everything. Yeah. So you know, I wasn't like there for the full enjoyment of the immensely awkward arm having robot. And then I bought you know the Bruticus set, and I look at this and and I go, okay, well the head's a nice throwback to the G1 days, but the rest That's of it's true. just failure. Yeah. And is it really a headmaster? Is there a photo of like the head and you know? At, Not yet. Transform no, for all I know because the Energon figure that chest piece opened up and the head flipped inside there and that looks like it fits just fine. So yeah. it may not even be a fucking headmaster. I'm not getting my hopes up. But then again, I'm not dumb enough to pay two hundred dollars um, for a fucking botcon exclusive unless it's made by a company I never heard of and it's about masterpiece size. Well, here's my thing: if if they do make this thing a fucking headmaster, why the fuck couldn't they make um, a hardhead or chrome dome? Right. Yeah, there we go. Calm down, my fucking headmaster. Oh, that, that, that's another thing I want to admit. I'm pissed off not about this. I want my fucking subscription figures. I paid last year for two of those figures already, and I still have not received my two figures. I don't know. Nope. I don't think anyone has, and that's why you no, should further no start selling your fucking Hasbro and join the dark side here in the, the third party <laughs> fanboy group. Um, I like Hasbro. Go ahead. This, this thing's just fucking okay. atrocious. <laughs> Yeah. On every angle. And- <laughs> I, I hated the Energon mode. I hate it, you know, and I hate the fact that they're doing this in a fucking G1 color scheme. And it all it's doing is, is doing nothing more than affirming the fact that, you know what, I really missed that G1 figure more. I just don't see where it fits with the others. I don't know. This one, it just makes no sense to it's me. It's definitely very oh. out there. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, I'm glad that they went that way. You know, I'm glad, you know, for the G1 people, but how does it fit this BotCon set? I mean, and I got some, you know, I got some guys that are going to go to BotCon, and especially that since they showed this, I got one guy, he's fucking jacking off to this shit. But I just don't understand. I'm like, so where is this going? It's like, he's like, I don't care, man. It looks good. I, I want to get it. I'm like, I just, why they even throw it in there to the box set? Maybe as a freebie or something? I, but I don't know you the think- box set. You know, it, it, it blows my mind because I look at this and I'm looking at the IDW comics and how, like, Scorponok was this really imposing being. Hell, even in the fucking gen- Regeneration 1, you know, continuation they had on IDW. And I look at that character and I look at this and I go, this doesn't resemble either one of them. Like, he wasn't even, like, that much taller than a Voyager, so I really even would he consider a Mega Class. It's just, or even Ultra. It's fail, excuse me. It's just, it's fail all around. It's something, I don't, I, I just think it's dumb. You know, maybe the only way they pulled this mold off back in the day was when they had that dark Scorpionok mold, which was a black and gold and red fucking deco. Yeah, is that, that how big he is? He's like a Voyager. Uh, yeah, he's, it's something similar. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's, like, a, he's like a head taller than Voyager. But the thing is, he's got that, you know, the tail, like I said, and he's got those big arms, so he's not really tall. But he takes up. He's fat. He's yeah. like he's he's a big guy. He's a fat well, he's transformer, a... and he takes up a lot of space. He's a fatty fat, fat fat farmer. You just want to see him. <laughs> I mean, with the, with the you... tail, he's really tall. I mean, you could put him over his head, and he, he's you know shit. He's really. If you'd prefer tall, not to call but, him Monkey yeah. Man, he he will also answer by the name Gorilla Knox. <laughs> <laughs> or as I call him Tubby, because Bobby, he looks you... like he wants a Twinkie. Do you have the uh, the? Uh, Unicron, for reference. Do you do you own that figure? I'm not sure. Who me? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm no. trying to find a picture that like shows you his scale. He's he's not that short, but he's definitely not like he's smaller than the original Scorpionok. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, I would oh, want him to yeah. be. Uh, he's not, like a head at, taller at, than your average Voyager. At, yeah. yeah at, at this point, I I would need, um, I would need him to be. Well, you know, at the same time, though, I guess if if you had the the uh, perfect effect warden. You know, if you had, but you can't put this next to Warden. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's, no, it's, like, it's like putting like a you know my my kid's finger painting next to like a Picasso or something. You know, it's like I mean, you know, my kid makes a hell of a finger paint piece, but still. I, I, I'm gonna have to say though that this is the best thing in this box set so far. Oh, so. agreed, agreed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I it, agree it, it's thing. definitely the it's definitely the, the 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 piece with the most interest anyway. Yeah. yeah. It ain't gonna make me go to Bacon though. Fuck. No, and and I, I think this is probably their big gun. Oh, it and, definitely is. Yeah. So like, I I don't know how much more we're gonna. Is this is this it? Is this the last piece? Uh, oh, I don't oh, think we've oh. seen the knights at all. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this is the yeah. last pirate. So yeah. you have a, a shitty. They show four. They got one more piece. So let's go over what they've released so far. They have Cannonball, which was a ratchet repaint, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you have the Ku Klux Klan version of Cyclonus. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have fucking um, Grape Ape if he was a robot. Well, they, they also showed the other one, the um, so the Scourge repaint. The Scourge uh, repaint? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Dev, DevCon. DevCon. So oh, there's four right. out there. They only got five right. in the set. Right. They only got one more to show. Because, I you know, think... that's that's definitely a figure everyone needs is a fucking another Cyclonus repaint. I mean, a uh, Scourge repaint. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and it's an Autobot. Ooh, wow. I would have I waited to show this one last, probably. I would have showed the, the – no, they got one more to show. I would have shown that one, then I would have showed this one. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, that. The, maybe the last one is the real showstopper. I, that's okay. I, maybe – that's all right. We could always wait till Optimus reviews it. Yay. Hey, Bobby. Huh? You almost sounded like you believe that shit. Yes. <laughs> that there was a single showstopper in this entire right, fucking right, set. Right. <laughs> Right. This is their big guns. It's a fucking uh, piece of shit headed John, but look, it's G1 colors. Because everyone remembers their Scorpionop had translucent orange cannons on its kneecaps. <laughs> hey, Bobby, did you see that link I just posted? Uh, I did not. Oh, check the chat. That's the, or the, uh, the Skype chat. That's the showstopper. Oh, I can already tell it's going to be great. <laughs> um, let me scroll down. But yeah, this, uh, this thing, man, is is just hey, people are excited about it. It just goes back into my fucking, you know, what is it, Stockholm syndrome that fucking Transformer fans are are stuck in, you know, where it's just they've just been beaten up by the man so much that they just they're like, we'll no, this is, they can get. this is good. This 
isn't this good? No. <laughs> I try Come to on, guys. <laughs> Give it a break. This is it. This is the game changer. They're trying. Oh, my God. No, yeah, they're trying to convince herself that this is going to be the shit. Yeah, I need to fly all the way to fucking California to get this fucking shit. Come on. Yeah. Totally worth a $400 plane ticket, $700 hotel rooms. And then, of course, the uh, ab- absurdly priced fucking convention food there. Because, you know, you're a Transformer fan and you're in Pasadena, California. The last thing you're going to do is walk the streets when the sun sets. <laughs> you might be approached by a prostitute or Dolomite, whichever one comes first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, and speaking of atrocious, you know, I look at this more and more, and um, Optimus Prime is being revealed for the new Transformers animated series. And it's very, uh, it stopped being more like robot heroes or whatever the fuck, rescue heroes based, and it's looking a lot of like fucking, it, it's as if like, I swear, it's got to go back to the days where these fucking guys yell their like special attacks. You know, <laughs> Bumblebee disc, Optimus Prime sword, rah rah. To and, of foam. You know, and and if Optimus Prime is actually going to be in this series, which makes me lose hope for it already, because you know, come on, you have to, you, you made, you're telling me Bumblebee's going to be the leader. You give him this whole new look, and now you're going to have Optimus Prime basically be like Peter Parker is in the Superior Spider-Man, like this ghostly, like moral morality, or he's just gonna like come, he's going to come back and be like Bumblebee. You have, to travel, <laughs> you have to travel to the Dagobah system. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he flies away from Bumblebee, don't fuck this up. Seriously. <laughs> don't pull a hot rod. That's all, yeah, I, that's all I can think of is that fucking return out, Miss Prime. Yeah, the Bumblebee rude awakening. run this goddamn organization to the ground. <laughs> yeah. You're going to leave that guard to base. <laughs> and that'll it, be it, your it, new name, Shit Piece. <laughs> and, but Prime, not now, shit be. <laughs> but understand, I look at this and I want to say, okay, I can see Bumblebee's new look because they're on Cybertron. Hopefully, this takes place on fucking Cybertron. So, why the fuck does Optimus Prime have a Cybertronian truck mode when he died or supposedly sacrificed himself, whatever, in Beast Hunters? He still had an Earth mode. They all did. So, I expect Bumblebee's to change. How did Prime's change? Especially if he's going to be like a spiritual guidance. They'll probably throw in some line. Of- that looks Cybertronian, dude. That, because yeah, I think so. It's Cybertronian. It <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's like a. It's funny. It didn't look Jewish, but the the fucking <laughs> um, you know wh- wh- why I left this in the notes was because uh, there was that little bit of business where they came out and said, uh, "Look, the uh, the image of Bumblebee that got out. Calm down, guys. That's far from the final image. Guess what? Doesn't it's look very there, fucking yeah. far." <laughs> <laughs> This looks a lot like the image we saw before. I mean, I guess there's a, f- a few minor changes, but you know, I don't, I don't understand the uh, perspective that they're going for here with the like half Optimus Prime thing going on. Like, it it's looks like he's, he's like you know, I'm a ghost. I'm here to guide him. That's what they're going for. And, and right, it's, but is he behind that building? Like, how yes. big is his ghost? Yes. You know, yes. like <laughs> why is he behind this building? If he's a ghost, why isn't it's his like whole a... body just there? Look, you know, I, I got, I got the answer for you. I got the perfect answer for you, and I'm going to resolve this debate once and for all. It's anime, okay? They have ghosts the size of, like, a quarter of the size of the planet that they're haunting, and then it yeah. ends with some chick getting banged by a monster with tentacles. This it's is a anime. promo shot. Do you remember the intro to Thundercats? When yeah. fucking Bob is all fucking huge and shit? Yeah, that's, that's all this shot. is. It's just this that is... fucking Japanese dr- drama fucking promo sensibility shit. Oh! Look out, the Bumblebee have new power. Zool, <laughs> Zool told Bumblebee that she would send the first thing that he thought of. Staple. <laughs> and then he thought of Optimus Prime, so a giant Optimus Prime comes walking down the so street. So Cybertron is doomed. Wonderful. <laughs> Way to go, Hasbro. You didn't fuck that up already. It's animated. Actually, that background kind of looks like a stage from uh, Mega Man X. It does. Yeah. I wish this was Mega Man X. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh I guess he's got Banana Man's powers. You know, that one villain, that one robot. <coughs> to spew out absolute crap. So yeah, that's I'll probably oh, still watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna watch it. As for a man. Yeah, well, we got we gotta watch it just to talk to talk if nothing else, talk shit about it. But um 
you know, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll surprise us all. I'm like, man, it looks goofy, but it's actually pretty good. Like, holy I'll shit, is that a fucking Dinobot in there? Fuck yeah. All yeah. right. And I'll be like, uh, fuck y'all, Hasbro rules. Yep. Uh, I expect like, you to do that whether it actually rules or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, will be, Matt will be like, this tattoo is paying off. I told you it fuck would. Yeah, it is. And that, got, that thing above my uh, bed. Shit, I look at it every night. That, mm. that Hasbro well, logo tattooed above your belly button, you <laughs> sick. <laughs> With the belly button making the little smile. <laughs> 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 It's anyway. the same thing with Prime. I didn't watch Prime until like the sixth episode, seventh yeah. episode, because I thought it'd be Prime's, horrible. Prime's, Prime's a solid unit, you know. So well, up until you know what? Yeah, up until the movie, the quote unquote. Oh, movie. is that what it was? There's right. three episodes they couldn't fit into the season. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, well, I had to be. I had to make a movie. I don't understand what the problem is here. For me, it ends there. Okay, so um, moving on, we're going to be talking about the Get Right Robot and their um, Generation 1 Cybertronian Bumblebee figure. So um, so Savcom was canceled, unfortunately. Oh. And uh, so Get Right Robot released a statement and says, We are saddened to hear that Savcon has been disbanded. We want to thank those who worked so hard on the show for the opportunity to share our little bit of work with people who care as much about transforming robots as we do. However... Based on the feedback, hey, our current status of pro- what? They're from Myrtle Beach, so you can do a southern voice. <laughs> Reread that in the right voice, please. All right. <laughs> Hi, Maya. We are sad to hear that Savcon has been disbanded. We would like to thank those who worked so hard on the show for the opportunity <laughs> to show our little bit of work with the people who care as much about transforming rubits as we do. <laughs> <laughs> Based <laughs> on the feedback in our current status of production, there is no turning back now, you son of a bitch. We have had several <laughs> offers from friends and uh, colleges to help distribute this little heartbreaker one way or another. We hope to have a release in the next month or two and an announcement on where and when and how much sooner than that. Thank you to everyone who has supported and encouraged us. Updates will be posted as they are reached. You piece of shit. Now, Yours truly get right. We love you guys. That was I love you, Jason. <laughs> you should have just, just had me read it. God, Jason, you are the biggest true. fans project fanboy ever, but we love you. Yeah, he is. <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, I am getting this fucking thing. Yep. Yeah, same here. Uh, yeah, you I know, the money, I guess. Is it now, Gut now. or Red Deco? I would prefer a cliff jumper. I, I, well, you know, it is. Um, I'm going to be content with my Matt Takara Bumblebee, so yeah, I don't, sure. you know, I need another one. This picture the, uh, is a little claymation-esque. <laughs> the, the deal is um, they have to make um, the cliff jumper version for another con. And then when they're done with that, they'll, uh, they'll be making these. So I think he told me like May or June, nice. these will be ready. So That's 30 cool. bucks pop. That uh, is what he's looking at. That's not bad, dude. Yeah. I mean, I, I assumed we'd all get one. Yeah, absolutely. I'm in. Yep. Um, I'll likely get one, too. I uh, think it. they should uh, give our friend Justin an advanced copy. He is our he is our legitimate reviewer. I mean, yep. Skullface is slowly getting up there. You know, he it's went viral bad. with his uh with a with his uh diesel review. But uh, <laughs> Wait, I think yeah, Justin think should Justin's, get the, Justin's the respectable one. Yeah, so he <laughs> should uh totally get an advanced copy before uh Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be checking out here as a Get Right Robot <laughs> Special Edition uh, Generation 1 Cybertronian Bumblebee. And we're going to start off in alt mode. That's all I can say. On that same token, there are only going to be like 150, 200 of these made. So there's going to be a whole lot of butthurt nerds if like fucking uh, a big reviewer got it and no one could get it because they only made like 150 of them. So. Yeah. Let's just keep it between us. Let's keep it with the cool kids. We'll keep it at our table. You know, the guys that show you love. Like the guys we don't want them. Little Wayne wearing misfit shirts. I don't know if anyone understands like the comparison there, but I think keep, I do. Keep that here. Let's keep that here. I'll, so, get you, man. I'll get you that thirty bucks, man. Oh, it's whatever. Um, I am take. Well, we'll talk about that later. Or, so, um, as far as we're considered, Jason, you have six sales <laughs> guaranteed right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
So moving on. Uh, well, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. Speaking of uh, Justin's review, I watch Justin's Friday review every week. Like I look forward to it. Like I, it's like almost like I look forward to like a TV show that would come on on Friday. So I watch every week. And I always try to do like when he when he starts the introduction, I always try to talk along with him just for the first sentence to see if I can like get it right. I'm like, what's going on, guys? It's T2RX6 back with another Transformers review. <laughs> <laughs> we have to switch it up and then just be... <laughs> don't do that. You know what you need to do, uh, Justin, is like get a bunch of like those fake gold rings they sell in those quarter turns, you know, <laughs> and then like make sure you have like gold chains that always clang when you move around. And be like, hey, what's cracking, motherfucker? Hey, <laughs> this, this your man, man, T2 RX, motherfucker, six. And, that's and, totally and that's, me. And yeah. that's my chick in the background. And have your girl be like, hey, what up, motherfuckers? And I'd be like, I was going to review this figure right here, right? But um, I spilled my slits malt liquor. And yeah, uh huh. Speaking and then of freestyle Justin, rap. There's a lot of good news for Justin this week. There is, there is, because our friends at Mech Ideas, they made a deal with a company called Planet Steel Express to carry their animated version of Huffer and Pipes, which I don't understand why you like them, buddy. <laughs> Me neither. But I, like, I liked animated, that's why. That's the only reason well, I, like I like them, but I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure I, if I'm going to get them. What? I, I, I like, what? I like it, it's past. I don't know. Oh, my, man, my, now, my now I'm disappointed. I, what? I want new flag, new flag. <laughs> we'll see. What? T2RX6 thinks these are gay. No. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I, I, I like animated too. Like, I recently got my hands on the on the Ratchet, Cybertronian mode Ratchet, and now fucking hilarious Ironhide because that's a tough guy. And freaking, you know, but I look at these and I look at these and I go, they're not finished. Like, holy crap, dude. That is a lot of fucking back weight for, they look really small. And Mech Ideas, I love you because, you know, you brought back a Mech Fev. But this was... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is, that is exactly the reason that I'm really on the, like, you know, I'm on the, like, I don't know if I need these things. Because, like, for 50 bucks, I'm like, come on, you guys did so good yeah. with the uh, the demo That's crew. True. And then you have these guys, and you <laughs> want me to pay, like, just about the same price. And, That's true. You know, it's like, I love animated, but I don't know if I want to spend $50 on two scout-sized figures. And they look like Mario and Luigi. Well, that that's part of, that's part of the charm to me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's I don't like the fact that they're like a quarter or half the size of what would the you demo crew. 40? 40 would be a lot easier to justify. Yeah, I could do that. 40 shipped? Or forty plus shipping. I'd do forty plus shipping, but fifty plus shipping. Now you're putting it in the range of other figures that are more interesting. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You know, we we call Justin our respected reviewer here yeah, because yeah. a lot of the times, like figures, I am really iffy and not really too sure about. I'll wait till he buys them. All right, so just... I just went on Plant Steel Express, and to get this shit shipped to my house is another fifteen dollars. <laughs> so that's sixty-five bucks I've got to spend to get two Sub Scout figures. Yeah, no, thank that's you. not good enough. So, like, I I love these these things. I like when they were on BBTS, and I could get them for fifty and stick them in my pile of loot. Fine, whatever. But you know, like now it's like, yeah, I don't know. I can't I can't justify the cost. Yeah. Planet Steel Express, we fucked your wallet. Planet stealing my money from my wallet if you buy this. Because <laughs> I guarantee you, I guarantee you if I bought this, and it, like if if they ship it in such a way that I can actually see what the fuck it costs, it's probably only like seven bucks, you know? Right. right. So thanks, why don't you just charge $60 and then make it $7, at least you're honest. Yep. So. I, uh, yeah, yeah, these suck. We're going to move on. Uh, Justin basically stated my case on nonsense like this. So, um, a new third party Ultra Magnus is being made by a new company called Suino E Studios. <laughs> yeah, I, what the hell? So that's mispronounced Korean. that fucking name. That's actually Korean. Is uh, it? Suino means too little, and E means too late. And, uh, <laughs> <in Korean. laughs> that was that's, good. It, that's that's the truth. That was really good. That's the truth. So this is too this. little, too late. Fucking it's too studios. little, too late. I, I, like I, I don't think the KFC one's going to be able to get off the ground. No, I don't think so either. And 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 with the Takara one, see the thing is, is that is the price point of the shit because the Takara one is coming, and really there are very few that can fuck with Takara masterpiece, if any. And. 
Right, right. <clears throat> for, for, for Takara's to be coming at two hundred and seventy-five dollars, people that have bought that are not going to sh- uh, fucking ship out another two hundred for you know Sweeno Studio, whatever the fuck, you know Joe's Transformers. He's got no reputation, no name, and looks awful. And looks well. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks pretty it, awful. It looks that really that bad. chest it, is really bad. Yeah. Or um or or hundred and eighty nine dollars for the KFC one, which which we we have further in the show, but still just for a point of reference, so much Ultra Magnus now. And this and this same fucking company is also putting out that fucking bumblebee. It's like it, 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 this company has a playbook and that playbook is fucked up. <laughs> are, are we? Can we move on to Bumblebee? Or are we just yeah, because gonna... this looks like. Oh, absolute can I, shit. I gotta ask something. Why is it the third party companies when they want to come out with one thing, other companies come out with the same thing? Do they all get together and say, "Hey, well, let's put out an Ultra Magnus"? No, let's I put think, out a Predator King, and you know, I think like three. The opposite favorites. is that you know people spend so much time designing them and, and all that shit, and then they wait for the big reveal. But by the time they got the big reveal out, everybody else has done the same fucking thing. And no, it's just. It's an overload. It's like, you know, kind of There should be a way, like, you know, some of those motherfuckers should just swallow their pride and start getting on the phone with each other. Start, start a, uh, like, a phone start, tree. Start <laughs> chit-chatting. You know, like start talking, tree. hey, let's make something that nobody's making. You know, a little phone tree and be like, hey, I'm thinking about doing Ultra Magnus. Like, oh, you're uh, talking like old school 90s party lines, you know. <laughs> yeah. Aha, uh-huh, this is Quan Cray from Master My Creation. Uh, hello, <laughs> this is Roy from uh, Mecha Hadiz. Aha, uh-huh, this is Wang. I'm from Fat Prod Studio. I make records. Okay, good. We'll make our throttle bar combiners. No, don't do it. This is Wang from Toy World. We finish, I swear. I can see that shit just falling apart. And then they call... <laughs> It's like fans toys and mastermind get on the phone and they call um fans like a uh, fucking fans project on three way and it's just mastermind going uh hey what do you think of uh fans toys you know, and they're like fuck fans toys and like yeah and then, and, then, and then they call mastermind creation and they're like we're doing this and they're like we're doing this better and yeah. like, <laughs> mastermind just sits on the conference call and writes down what everybody else is. Yeah, you think studios based out of a daycare center in the middle of Korea. North Korea. Anyway. <laughs> uh, hey, Master Matt Creation, the, great, the one true Korea is making Beretta King. They and then Matt Creation is like, ha ha, we uh, make a better one. <laughs> you hey, Yeah. Question. Um, their Beretta King would uh, contain many nuclear warheads and would only ship to South Korea. So, <laughs> Go ahead, I mean, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, if, um, if, if Takara is so better, then why are people buying fan stories for that? Because well, fan stories is making wait, shit wait. that Takara hasn't? Exactly. If fan I'm stories, just saying, though. If fan I stories mean, was putting out their Takara show. Takara probably golden. Fan stories are just a third-party company like everybody else. Right, but if fan mm-hmm. stories was putting out their Shockwave, let's say that fan stories Shockwave uh, pre-order went up tomorrow, and Takara Masterpiece Shockwave pre-order went up tomorrow i'm going with takara right. at least at least until takara disappoints me exactly <laughs> and and, yeah. and and let's put it this way like the fans toys is a perfect example they had a sound wave coming you know like he was 90 some percent done and then takara is like up oh, sound wave and they just scrapped it because they knew they couldn't compete you know like everyone's gonna go with the official so. Yeah, because the cost of scrapping a mold is way less than scrapping a fucking warehouse full of product. Well, <laughs> right. room closet full of pro- product. I mean, right. normally, you know, in normal circumstances, it'd cost them about, you know, a book of matches and a gallon of gasoline, but who am I to say anything about that? <laughs> fans, <laughs> fans, toys, fans Toys is thriving because they are making the figures that the fans want. Yep. You know, that, that they are more in touch with the fan base than Masterpiece, where Masterpiece is like, you know, well, we'll get them out as, as we can, and then they get upset when other people start making moves without them. Like, well, wait, 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 wait. Well, no, motherfucker, <laughs> people have the money. They don't want to wait, wait, wait. Right, so, and, and special middle finger to all you crybabies about Scoria being too fucking tall. Get over it, Jesus. Yeah, it's not Scoria's fault. It's Masterpiece's fault. Yeah. yeah, compared to that fucking Takara uh, story. Oh wait, there's not one. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, and Grimlock, I mean Grimlock's too short. That's the problem. Scory is a perfect height, you know. Um, yeah. But whatever. Um, but yeah, back to this Ultra Magnus. It's it's just, you know, I. This is from KFC. The guys that brought us, you know. Uh, no, this one. This one is the this the, oh, the, 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 the oh, Spino Studio one. That this one, like, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'll just say I'll just say I, one more thing. I, I, I want to go on the B real quick too before we switch. Okay. We had the B in here. Yeah, we had the B in here. Um, but the the one thing I wanted to say about it is that uh, if if this company, this no name company that has no track record, was doing something like you know a monster bot or like you know double cross or fucking you know whatever, I would give them a shot. Yeah. They, oh yeah, they, definitely. Yeah. They didn't. They went with some fucking popular character that they should have known goddamn better. You know, <laughs> just yep. the sad state of it. And it's, they're also doing go ahead. I was I say it's kinda odd because you know when when, when third party companies in the past have debuted, they kinda with the exception of the the mainstream guys, by that I mean of course fans project MMC and et cetera, but I'm talking about guys, for example, mech ideas, when they did their own first figure, they went for you know, uh, Top Spin and Twin Twist, whatever right. their names are. And that was pretty obscure. Like, I yep. wasn't, you know, at the <clears> moment, <throat> I wasn't like, oh, man, you know what I really want are the flip right. formers that I hated when I was a kid. And guess you know? what? They and had th- zero they, competition. Yep, and they knocked it out of the fucking park. Yep. And, and that's what I think. Like, if you're a new... Wow, who is fucking with a microphone? You just blew my eardrums. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think Who you're, dropped the phone? I think you're about ready for kids. <laughs> oh. um, but moving right along, um, this same company is, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like they have the shattered glass version of Mastermind's Creations playbook. Mastermind looks at other third-party companies that are making subpar figures, and they come out with better versions of them. And this company is looking at the top dog in the game and coming out with lesser versions of them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they have a, they're like, well, they have a, let's see, uh, we have Toy World making B. That's 70 bucks. Can we make a $40 Bumblebee, guys? Can we make a $40 Bumblebee? He needs to be made out of 100% recycled bedpans and <laughs> toilet paper. Make it happen. And then this is what we get from Sunui, Suinoe Studio. Another fucking MP Bumblebee. It's as if Art Feather never went this route. And you know, more importantly, I mean... It's the same argument, man. Masterpiece is coming. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand why they went and did this one. It doesn't like. I can see there is quite a few differences over your classics B, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this one at all. Like the decision behind Again, it or anything. Like, it, this it, is even further along than what we know of for Takara's uh, Ultra Magnus. So this one's like, you know, more known that you can't compete. So. Like, <laughs> I, I am. I am seriously hoping this is an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, um, he says, uh, "Hello, everyone. We are proud to launch our next our next product, SEO Two B. The current design phase is completed. It is expected in May when there will be a full color mold fig, metal parts, and rubber products. Okay, better, better than, than better than Tactomi. Um, From what it, I'm seeing, that's not. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> the retail price of around a hundred XX. One yeah. XX. So, so it's not even for sure it's going to be $100. It could be $150. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we welcome various forums and groups to negotiate to buy matters. We will be able wow. to get a better price. Thank you. Wow. That's some fucked up English, first of all. <laughs> the first comment. Um, the first comment. That's got to be an April Fool's joke. Yeah, because this is ugly. This is beyond ugly. Like, I mean, Tour World, I give them a little credit because they tried to go that route, you know, and, and it doesn't look that ugly, but that's not the Bumblebee I want on my fucking shelf. You know, the one I want is the Takara Tomy Masterpiece Bumblebee with the spike, you know, and or whoever the fuck's in that exosuit. That's the one I want on my fucking MP shelf. Not this abomination. You know, I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking, wow, it's like they grabbed a classics figure. Hollowed it out and then fucking slapped on the classic UV, you know, uh, Volkswagen uh, bug mold on it. And there's, they're there's, saying there's a lot of stuff I can't figure out here, like because it's clearly that his chest is not any part of the actual Volkswagen there. Yep. So like, where did that come from? Where does that hide in the robot? Is that the whole fake chest on the bottom? Does that mean like half well, the car is hanging <clears throat> off his back? Is well, they're real? also saying that this might be an April Fool's joke, but you know what? I- I'm not buying it. Yeah, because this company isn't in, isn't in a fucking position to do that. You know what I mean? Like, like we don't know them. Like, you know, like when Mastermind did it, you know, with their Predaking last year, they were like, you know, we're canceling Feral Rex or whatever. You know, everybody was like, oh fuck, and then they're like, oh okay, I get it. With this one, it's like, uh, 
this is probably true. You probably don't have anything set up or like in any kind of financial position to just fuck about like this. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. Go on, Justin. Sorry. I, I just don't. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff about this I can't figure out. I can't figure out where any of the parts go. Like I've been spending the whole time we were talking about Ultra Magnus trying to figure <coughs> out like where parts go. Like what when you're looking at the car mode, what is underneath the clear piece in the front there? Like what is that stuff? Because I don't see it anywhere else on the toy. I'm thinking yeah. there. I'm well from what I'm I'm looking at in their photograph. It reminds me a lot of like um, you remember the alternator lines when they had the seekers, mm-hmm. uh, the big three. How like uh, the their chest was still front of the car, but it wasn't really the front of the car. You know, yeah, the car was, was like basically a, the wings. Yeah. It was like a molded on. That's yeah. what that's that's reminding me of right there. Yeah, that's what I'm, that, I'm thinking. Like all that stuff is probably like if you flip that bumblebee over and upside down, all that stuff's probably on the bottom or something. Yep. I just yeah. I want to know why. Like like you said, the Mech Ideas did the you know the jump stars. Why are these new third party companies not doing new shit? Do a new small like a mini bot. Do Beachcomber. Do Warpath. Do something well, that nobody does shit. The thing why, is, I mean, is, is in my opinion, they're they're dumb to do this for two reasons. Because they, they probably did it because it's fucking Bumblebee, and everybody's gonna have a Bumblebee in their collection. Yeah, and, I know. They, and they probably started this before. I don't know. I mean, that Bumblebee from Takara was announced last year. Maybe they were betting on them not being able to get the license. I don't know. But the other thing is, is that a smart company would say, you know, a Bumblebee is coming. You know, there's no way they're not going to do a Bumblebee. Right. You know, so you I don't know. I, Hasbro, I don't that's, know their, that's their money. You know, that's a money maker out there. Right. That's Bumblebee. what we complain about. It's so too why, much Bumblebee. why would you want to do a Bumblebee? Like I said, do another mini bot. Like you said, do the monster bots do something that nobody's doing that people want it just makes no damn sense to put this shit out and that ultra madness god dang who you, who's gonna pay 200 bucks for that shit when they know well, a, a masterpiece is coming out <clears throat> but before we even get to the kfc one just just in terms of this bumblebee to me like i'm if if if, if i was a company right that had no name no reputation and i was going to go against takara the image that I brought to people, especially if I was expecting to have like an early release, like a you know like a second quarter release, this thing would be colored. It would be painted. It would be photographed in the best studio I could find. It'd be by the box <laughs> because I would be on my p's, p's and q's. Like there's the paint is f- like this is just I guess two types of plastic maybe, but the black is like if you looked around the wrist of the hand, it's fucked up. There's black in some parts. It's like rubbed off in other parts. Yeah, well, um, it's clearly all like prototype pieces like slapped together. Like this is the type of thing you see a a, a customizer on TFW right. doing before exactly. they put any paint on it. You <laughs> yeah. know, right? The before and after pictures. And yeah. it's like you know, even if they just primed it, just prime it a color, just one color, just all black or all white or you know what i mean are there don't, don't. even pre-orders for this up yet anyway no. No. i don't know i i feel like this has to be a trolling thing because like i'm looking at the none of the okay if you look at this car i'm now looking at the the volkswagen itself the front of the actual car doesn't have any of the front of the pieces that are on the robot so these are two completely different volkswagens Oh really? The, the rims are completely different. This has to be some oh, like April a, Fools exactly. or a customizer or something, because these are two different entirely toys. I mean, look at look, they... look at like the rims. The rims on the robot are different. Well, when are they gonna say April Fools? Because there's already been April Fools. I mean, you know, they're it's living in a probably... weird time stream, I guess. <laughs> it's just like... probably just another dumbass motherfucker who thinks he can fucking take the big guys on and he's going to disappear just like fucking any other no name company. Yeah, I hate I, to say it. I'm know, really like at this point I'm on TFW looking for Bumblebee customs. I don't yeah. think this is real. <laughs> yeah, he's probably he's, he's photoshopped another guys. Shit. I I, I think that's yeah, a it's just a waste move. of time. I think that's yeah, a no word to move. And so, <laughs> don't like it, nobody likes it, damn it. Oh, <laughs> this is not a good Bumblebee. <laughs> Mm. So, uh, Justin, you I mean, said something a little bit earlier about like bending something over and turning it around or something like that. What? Um, <laughs> you were describing you whatever. I was trying to do a segue, not paying attention. Anyway, um, 
that uh, KFC Ultra Magnus sure is an abortion. <laughs> it's, it's something. Somebody yeah. said something about turning something over and bending it, or bending something over and turning it around. And I was like, oh, segue, and then Matt started talking. I really, I, oh, be sorry. With you, I okay. really don't think this looks bad. No, but not two hundred dollars good. It's just that's a lot of money. I, I mean, even the MP is a lot of money. But you know, it's it's probably going to be a quality product. I don't KSC, think, yeah, if exactly. it goes by the tapes, oof. There's something yeah. weird about the head. I, I I can't place it, but something bothers me about the head, and I, I, I wish I could tell you what it is. It bothers me. One thing that bothers me is that the the the, the backside of the hand is covered. You know, like that piece. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like a shield. Like yeah, a that kind of bothers shield. me. But the rest of it, I, I think it, it looks. I, it's I, not bad honest, looking. Yeah, but... I think it looks pretty good. I, I just, I can't. I can't, like. I spend forty dollars on a KFC product, and I feel guilty. Yeah. If, so if, I can't imagine spending two hundred on a KFC product. And this is the type of thing again. If there was no Takara version coming, right? I probably would have been in on this, but there is one coming, and I'm not. And well, I gotta, I gotta give it to them um, because they did ask, like. Um, they put out like a post or something when the when the Takara one was announced. Yeah, yeah, a long you know, time ago. Yeah, like, that that was good of them to do that. You know, asking that, you know, if, if people were still interested, and I guess enough people were still interested that they went through with it. I just I hope that those people, I hope I hope they got those that money from those people up yeah. front. You know what I mean? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, uh, yeah, I didn't promise anything. And this is their <laughs> second. Isn't this their, their second big figure? They had their perceptor, right? Well, that wasn't a big yeah. figure, by any means. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're second, oh, other yeah, than the tapes. Yeah. And, the, uh, the, yeah. the, the cab on the back of the, the back, I, I don't really like that cheat. That's the same one the Titanium Magnus took. And uh, the, it bothers me because it bleeds over to the front of Magnus where you're trying to give him that slimmer right. waist there. But I can see the whole, you know, the bumper of the truck and all that hanging back there, which is a little bit like, eh, I don't know about that. But and there was a. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, I did real quick. The the thing that really bugs me is that like the whole illusion of Magnus is lost as you like turn him to the side or the back just because of the big huge white box. Like I wish it had some kind of flip panel to make it look red or something or like, hide it a little bit better. But, because you like the idea of a robot being inside. I love the idea of a robot being inside, yeah. I I'm, I'm all for that. It yeah. just looks cheap. I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with my classic uh, Magnus and with the add-on kit. That's that's my classics, you know. Is that what this is going for? Is this the classics kind of Ultra Magnus, or is this going for an MP? Kind of I don't size? know, with his hand? Well to, well, to me, it's like it's like a leader class figure. It's not really like Is it leader class? class? Yeah. Well, they showed the pictures with MP10, and it was much larger. Yeah, he's bigger than MP10. Oh, then. so he's. But it's like okay, an so IDW style classic then. look. Yeah, but, I he's mean, going, that, but he's going with the MP style then, right? I mean, MP size. He kind. is MP size, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, <sighs> that Hasbro Jetfire is about the same size, isn't it? It's too Not hard really. to really com- compare the uh, Hasbro Jetfire. Yeah, that's it, fifty bucks too. Yeah, and we don't we, we also don't know with that Hasbro Jetfire if he's old school leader, right. which is, you know, Revenge of the Fallen is the same size as Masterpiece. But you know, new new leader might be smaller. Like I I don't know, I don't have any well, of the that, leaders previous. Those Age of Extinction, um Oh no, those were Voyagers. They're like the sizes of fucking old school deluxes or some shit. Yeah. Like uh, the Grimlock and the uh Evasion Prime, so I can only imagine the leader would be smaller. But I, I have two things to say about this, and that's all I want to say. First one, I was debating, well, I was quote unquote debating slash trolling a guy on Facebook, the same thing, and um, he was he, he was behind this thing like wholeheartedly, and he was talking about how the chest opens. Uh, I like there's that a part. Yeah. Compartment, mm-hmm. and he was like, the Takara one's probably not going to do that. I just want to say. Bullshit. The fucking Optimus Prime already fucking does that. You don't think they're gonna engineer the fucking that one piece to flip right. up like it did in the fucking movie? Right. Come on. Um, man. Second, the idea that Justin likes having a robot inside, I like that too. <laughs> but in this day and age of IDW, if you're not gonna make a white prime inside, why don't you make it so you've got a fucking uh Minimus Ambus inside? 
Yeah, well, they're definitely not. I don't think they would do that. Yeah. Are you that? I don't think you're that far yet, Bobby. But... <clears throat> no, I am. I am actually. I have read that, so I'm at least that oh. far. Yeah, there's a little man inside with another yeah. little man inside, and I want to see that in the fucking toy. The, the the other thing about like and like I said, I don't I don't care necessarily about the white prime. Like I like the white prime. It's it's I'm the, 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 uh, the nostalgia for the G1 toy is why I like that that white prime inside, but. Uh. Uh, like, I don't know, like, I can't think of the point I was trying to make, I just lost it. <laughs> uh, oh, the Matrix compartment on the chest, like, I think that's really cool, because it does represent that scene, but if the Takara one doesn't have it, I don't really care, like, you right. know, like... Yeah, that's not, a Magnus, big, that's not the selling point. Yeah, right. Ultra Magnus is not going to sit on my shelf opening his chest <laughs> compartment to give Rodimus or Hot Rod the Matrix, you know? Like, yeah. so. well, y'all, y'all are talking about, you know, you like robots inside. Do y'all like pretenders? I, for some reason, I've been on a G1 kick on pretenders. Would y'all want to see, you know, like maybe classics do those? Or maybe mp size pretender? I like pretenders until they get to me in the mail. And then I remember why I don't like pretenders. When <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I like them for some reason. I kind of like the whole, you know, little robot inside the little shell and everything. But that's just me. I, y'all were talking about robots inside of stuff. I, I actually but. would be more interested in fleshed out, like the fleshed out robot inside type type thing, or or like what they did with, uh, uh, like Bludgeon. You know, like kind of make the uh-huh. robot inside a mix right. between his shell and you know, what the robot turned into. Right. Okay. Well, if any of these uh, third-party companies uh, want to make a... Uh, I can't remember his fucking name now. <laughs> Thunderwing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's expensive. God dang. If they're going to... If they're going to do pretenders and go that route, I'd like to, to suggest also to any third-party companies out there, uh, I'd like a Monstructor, please. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. That, yeah. That's one I would be, love to see. Too, be, yeah. <laughs> Especially the way they've been using him in, um, in the comics lately. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah. been he's like the definitive first, and he's like the yeah. baddest bitch of them all. I, I, I love the fact that he was like the last combiner to come out, but the first one ever made in IDW. Do you know what I mean? Like just. Yeah. The, hey, Hasbro's gonna Hasbro's gonna do it, but it's gonna be the uh, small size like a bottomless. The uh, Matt, oh. get off the call. Shut up, Matt. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If, 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 Rave, if Rave Nine is listening, we have an opening. Oh. Uh, submit your application to shadowcast.com at gmail.com. How fucking fuck all y'all with sick dicks. <laughs> I'm gonna say from now, like if, if in the future, like uh, you know, we were talking about trying to organize a street team and such. Like in order to be on the sh- like with the Shattercast street team, you you cannot own the Abominus combiner of uh, Beast <laughs> Shit, two of them. Which looks like, or especially the Target exclusive version of them, which looks like <laughs> Jolly Ranchers and tastes nothing like them. <laughs> but I wanted to know my thoughts about the, uh, we're still on the KFC Magnus, correct? Yes, I want to know your okay. thoughts on this, actually. Okay, so, so, so here's the thing. So, um, some of you may know, I'm good friends, I like to think I'm good friends with Jason Watson from Dub K Toys. You know, I, I would not have... Yeah, sh- shout out to Dub K Toys. I would not. I don't think I would consider Jason a friend, and I would go through the trouble of making him a fucking promo and a second one. You know, if I didn't think he was a good enough guy, and he is getting these, and the price, I believe he's offering is one eighty five ship. One seventy five. One seventy five now. He dropped right? to ten. Even better, it gets my dick harder. This, uh, if if people look at the Takara version, they go, "Wow, what, what was that? Two seventy five for that bitch?" Yeah, yeah. If they look at that and and they're like, "Well, that's a little fucking pricey." I think, and this is just me. Obviously, no one's going to agree with me, and that's fine. I'm willing. I'm willing to be the odd man out. I'm willing to take the role of deluxe here. I think this is a good. I want an MP Ultra Magnus, but I don't want to pay two seventy five for it. Here's a hundred dollars less. Booyah! I just don't get a white Optimus Prime. I, I never owned a G one Magnus. I, I look agree at with you, but there's one X factor to it. If this if this was the same toy and it had a different name attached to the production of it, I'd be with you. It's ah. just it's just KFC and the, the 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 I don't have the Perceptor, which everybody says is a lot better of a figure than what they've done. But the I have all the tapes, and I, and I am not impressed with one. I have the Steel Jaw. I have the uh, the um, EV EVI Metal Micro Man, no Black Micro Ninja black, one, right, right, the, right. the Black Perceptor <laughs> with a mouthpiece, the Black Guy. No offense, Antoine. <laughs> and um, magnificent. 
He's like, he's, Antoine's sitting there cringing, making a fist going, fucking spick. But, um, <laughs> it, it, you said uh, it. I, I have, yeah, that's why I could, that's our word. Remember that. But, uh, I have that figure and, and I'm happy with that figure. I am. My, my, the only problem with my, with the, with, I call him the ninja perceptor is the, the right hand is like really loose. The ball joint was really loose. That's the, that's it. But it's still, I like him. I think he's great. You know, he's he's part of he's on my shelf. I don't know if I could affiliate him with any fucking group. That's the only problem. But this figure, I am going to get him. Really? I am. I'm going to get him. And when by the time M- the Takara Ultra Magnus figure comes out, if I'm not really satisfied with him on my shelf, I'll probably sell him just to cough up this uh, fat down payment for the Takara. Wow. I, I, so, I, will, I will be interested in hearing your opinion because uh, the thing is, is I I don't think it look looks bad. I'm just afraid of the quality, and I don't have that. You know, the 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 Perceptor or the the, the black version of him. But like, um, I, you know, I think Greg said you that. Mean, one. You mean to say the black version? <laughs> right, right. The, uh, I'm looking. I'm looking left and right right now. <laughs> and, <laughs> the black and, so, like, Antoine's like, keep talking, Cuban floater. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't have that one. But you know, both you and Greg. I mean, yeah, both you and Greg. Both said it was fucking better than the average, so, um, so maybe they're maybe with their bigger stuff they do better. I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll wait and hear for your your point of view. After you I'll got do. It. I'll tell you what. When I buy this guy, and I'm gonna buy this dude, regardless, one way come hell or high water, I'm gonna get this guy. I will do my own like you know quote professional because you know we all know I'm not a professional reviewer according to a lot of the dick bag fanboys on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to do a professional review on him and I will give you guys honest thoughts and it will be uploaded to the shattered cast YouTube channel as an exclusive because of, oh, huh? sorry. sorry. No, I just I'm, wonder when it comes out. Uh, soon actually. Okay. End of this month and or halfway into next. I'm not sure. One of the Did things, you have to yeah, oh, one of the things I really wanted to see is, and they they've posted a bunch of pictures as of late. Like we've got the oh, the no. trailer, yep. you know, thing showing like, hey, you can fold down the thing, and yep. you know, like they have a number of things showing that the, the car carrier thing is there, but there is no scale shown for like what does the truck look like compared to any of the current masterpieces, like. It's got to be smaller than Prime. It's because he doesn't know how to uh, transform Prime. <laughs> I mean, it, it's entirely possible, yeah. But, I mean, like, there's a picture I found uh, on Wiki Alpha, which is, I believe, Retro Robot Radio's uh, yep. wiki. Uh, yep. Anyway, they had a Citizen Shout Stack out. picture Shout there. Out. And uh, they, they show, <laughs> like, the alt mode. They showed a thing tilted down, just like the car carrier used to do and all that stuff. But... What value is it if it doesn't fit the masterpiece card? In, right, in my opinion, and, and that's what I really want to know. And when you look at the picture of between MP10 and Citizen Stack, like the robot scale looks good, but what's the truck scale look like? Is it going to be a tiny little silly looking truck? And that's why I think they haven't shown it because it probably does look a little bit goofy next to MP10. But I don't and know. My other question is. How is the articulation of the cab to the trailer, if any? Probably not. I, well, that's a good question. It, it, if you it look doesn't at that, look like there's a lot of wiggle room. If you look at the the picture I showed you, yeah. It well, looks there's like not there's much for Diesel, bit, and Diesel but, wasn't such a bad figure. Yeah, yeah no, Diesel I totally nothing, agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, uh, it, it, there, it, there wasn't any, really. I, mean, I think yeah. it looks like this is mounted in such a way that there will be some movement on the cab. By the pictures, but I mean, I mean, just for know. everyone knows, for the record, if you're looking for an Ultra Magnus for your record shelf, this is not him. Um, <laughs> fucking giant compared. Oh yeah, he'd be huge. But really, who's gonna leave it in alt mode anyways? I mean, if you have Ultra Magnus, you're usually gonna transform. Oh, it you know alt-mode. those douchebags that uh, display and don't play those assholes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, they're, a bunch of fu- they're a bunch of fuck nuts. So you know, who cares? Can I? Can I, say, can, I, can I say something? My MP10 has been in his alt mode for probably oh. months now on the show. <laughs> oh. well, okay, then I'll I, I take that. I take that back then. <laughs> <laughs> I see I how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> just, 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 
Jess is gonna talk to his, talk, Jess is gonna talk to his girl out of the show. Like, do you think they really like me? I didn't. And no, somehow, that's what I say every time to Lisa when I get off the show. I'm like, I don't think they really like me very much. Somehow <laughs> this, this whole recording is, has been lost, guys. I don't. Why does Greg make fun of me, babe? I don't know, babe. It's because you're a tool. What? Nothing. <laughs> you know, Lisa no. sounds like that. She's she's like she's like I don't know why you buy some of this dumb shit either. <laughs> yeah, she's like fuck okay, ass, bro. <laughs> right. She's so um, been party all the way. Did we? Um, I, I zoned out there for a minute because I'm done. I'm tired of hearing about this fucking thing. Um, wow. When you talking Sorry, about the, uh, the vehicle mode, not you, the the fucking citizen Magnus. Um, it's not always you can't about you. Too hard on the articulation. Because no one really cared about their articulation on uh, Diesel. That's that's what Oscar. That was Oscar's point. I, I actually, I yeah. actually, I actually was like a little bit irritated by it. But 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 yeah, I get the point. And Diesel's it's still a great enough. figure regardless. So I get the point. Right. Didn't we see a size comparison though in vehicle mode, or was it just the picture of it in vehicle mode? Just the picture. It's just a picture of it in vehicle mode. They haven't put anything. The only size comparison they have is him yeah. with MP10. I zoned out and was fucking doing other shit. I was tracking my MP11. I'm sorry. <laughs> I put this fucking toy. Like I just don't care. It's I mean, still it's not there yet, man. I'm sorry. It'll get there. Well, oh wait. Speaking of things being over toys, this unique toys blaster oh. has tons of shit all over it. <laughs> Like no, shit. It looks like Venom shit all over Blast. No, it it looks like a bad skin condition, you know. <laughs> it really does. It's it's like the Lux just said. It's like he met like the crossovers version of, Met, of Venom, and he just like fucking blew a wad on Blaster. Like, now, this is just a lot of unnecessary shit. Right. Is, is Unique Toys trying to equate him to Jesus or something? Like, what's with the crown? <laughs> you know, it does kind of have that vibe. <laughs> uh, this version of Blaster come with a crown of thorns. God bless you. God bless you, he, baby. He, he, came, he, came, he came to Earth with a, a fucking playlist that will save your soul. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> right, it will. <clears throat> but he, um, he, I, I don't, I, see, I, we were talking about this before the show, um, which we should probably refrain from doing, so we still have the fucking venom when the show's time goes. But anyway, this this thing, um, this is my take on this. Uh, you don't have to have all that fucking accessorized shit all over them, so you know, whatever. Cut the cloth there. On on top of this, uh, on top of this though, the uh, I feel like if you're a classics guy and you have a classics collection, you need this blaster in your life. That's my opinion. If you're not a classics guy, then you probably should skip it. And if you're a classics guy, you probably can't go without it. That's my opinion on it. It's it's it you know for its size, it's not badly priced. It could have been cheaper without the excess shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, they could have like, knocked it down to like sixty or something. Yeah, like you know, fifty-five to sixty bucks if you would just take away the shit. Like you know, I I understand they're going for the whole like motif that he kind of probably had in the comics, where he was like this certified badass, and not like you know. Um, what what fucking stereotype that he was in the fucking show? <laughs> right. Whatever you know, it, 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 he could do with all all that garbage, man. It's unnecessary, and like the gun transforms into a cassette, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that's, I, that's pretty cool. And yeah. if you're a classics guy and you own some of the KFC tapes, you know, you have to ask yourself: Do those tapes fit in here? They do not. They do not. No. no. Did you? I just posted a picture in the uh, thread showing the size difference between the G one style tape and the gun it yeah they do not enormously different Damn. yeah that's kfc's that's kfc steel jaw mm-hmm. next to yeah it the definitely gun. does not and uh, I, I i i am a classics guy and i like this i think it looks like really really good like i don't like the extra crap that could go away but the the, the actual blaster in both bot and uh alt mode looks pretty freaking awesome but I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't. Sell out I the really. For this. I don't know. I, I really am not a fan of the whole like giraffe neck fucking ball joint there yeah. they got going on. Yeah. That's what's killing me. It's giving me like shades of Warbot Defender. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, well, they can. You know, they can learn a lot from you know what Takara did with the uh, with the sound wave with just doing a. You know that swivel that was hinged. Like you get the full yep. range of motion that way, and mm-hmm. it doesn't look like a fucking floating head. Yep, and <laughs> and you know, and to be honest, it's really weird seeing all these photos because they did a really good job on that Galvatron. Yeah, I I really like my Galvatron. You know, it, it's it's fucking sick. And 
And then they go back to Blaster. It's like, oh, so did you hire back the designer you fired before you made Galvatron? And and then you, have him make this Blaster? Yeah. They, they, have we seen an alt mode of this? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, they got, yeah, they got pictures of it. Right. Uh, they show uh, the back of, oh, they show it, the back of it, it, too. It and everything. And... The, yeah, uh, it looks it's squared away. The, the thing I'm going to say about this is, I don't know if I like it for the cost. That I, I might end up getting it. I might, if a certain... Uh, friendly neighborhood troll can get a, uh, a good price on it like he did Mania King, then I think I might be all in. But right now I have to think about it and budget compared to the other things that I want more. Yeah, yeah. you um, yeah, you gotta go to Dub K, that's for sure. He'll get a better price on that. Yeah. Yeah, he can probably get a better price on that than can. You can wait when it goes on clearance at BBTS, so, you know, spring clearance or something. Yeah, but see, the thing is, like that spring clearance, that like uh, whatever it was, the uh, yeah, the email, the, the sound, the sound wave one. Oh, the BTS. That yeah, that oh. thing went on clearance because it's crap. This thing actually looks <laughs> decent, you know. Like, so I don't think that it's gonna instantly go on clearance like the BTS. No, no, I, I, it the, won't go instantly, but I, I think is, eventually it will. I was going through that uh, big bad Toy Story email. Uh, of all the deals, like you know, you start off, you know, you know better, but you start off in the seventy to ninety percent category anyway. Yeah. And I'm like looking at it, and I'm, I'm like, oh, it's wow. all tech specs. Oh wow, a Green Lantern Avarice shirt. This didn't sell, really. <laughs> they got some pretty good deals on there. I, I, they got, I may have to order some stuff if I can, but uh, they got some decent stuff. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'll be, uh, I'll be in touch with probably somebody else that's. And try to get it for a cheaper price than seventy five bucks. So, Gregors. yeah, Dub K Toys. Gregors is my my inside contact. Gregors. So, Scott, Gregors. Scott, 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 Scott. You know, Gregors. it's Gregors. really Gregors. funny because you guys are saying the same fucking thing, and you don't even realize it. What do you mean? What? <sighs> Nothing. You guys are fucking blowing my shit. God damn! Shut up. Stop saying my fucking we name. Just, we piss off Thunder Gregors. Bit. I think the name Jesus of the show should just be Piss Off Gregors. That's Gregor. all we no, do is piss Gregors off. You only take a to stop. Actually, here, let me tell you one. In fact, I'm going to take this show to speak on so I can appropriately yell and not fucking annoy everyone else. Um, and here we go. This is one pissed off. As I'm sitting here fucking tracking my shit, my MP11 is coming tomorrow, right? Specifically paid extra. To have that shit priority mail. I mean, granted, it was only a dollar, but still. Because I don't want that motherfucker sitting outside of my door saying fucking toy store all over the box. So the little fuck, fucking ghetto-ass fucking kids in a fucking nice neighborhood that live across the street that eyeball my shit anyway when it's in my hand to come over and steal my fucking package. I just tracked it on TF Source. They sent the shit fucking FedEx Brown anyway. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be a fucking $200 fucking toy sitting outside for God knows how long until I get home tomorrow that says fucking toys and Transformers all fucking over it. <laughs> That's why I'm fucking pissed off. God. Sorry, Gregors. The saga of my favorite toy story. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what you do, Greg? Can you afford to just call out? No. Oh. <laughs> the motherfucker, can you afford to just call out? Yeah, I got sick days. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, I'm saving my shit to TFCon. Because I'm going to TFCon. Oh. <clears throat> you. Um, let's uh, move on to the next thing. I hope you and Deluxe have come? intense man on man sex. Yep, and I hope I can stop by and swing through and partake in a few and then get out and sleep, <laughs> sleep next so, to Moving on to um, MMC's Megatron. Is it the April Fools or is this an actual figure they're going to be releasing? I'm going April Fools. I don't think so. I don't think this, so. This thing looks half fucking, you know, fucking bionicle to me from the waist. Sexy down. legs. Sexy legs. Good God, those are ugly. I like it. I'm in. I'm is he in. supposed to be like, what's his size? Is this is, this is what I'm thinking. This, no, no, no. no. Smaller? Yes, well, I think okay. that this thing is going to be a Megatron uh, Target Master. So I think you're going to, at best, look oh. like a Scout type thing that yeah. has like five millimeter pegs that your regular Classics bots can can carry. That'd and if cool. that's the case, and you get this to me for like twenty, at most thirty, maybe, yeah, I would be in on it. And it's a totally badass looking little sniper rifle hey. Megatron for a Target Master. Couldn't Cup use it? 
maybe, or Perceptor. Yeah, exactly, like something like that. And then I think, uh, yeah, you got a sale. They do a. Go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. They ahead. do an April Fool's joke every year. Um, this would be their third year in a row. If they didn't, if this was not an April Fool's joke, then this would be the first year in three years that they have not done one. And this was posted exactly one minute after midnight on in China at New Year's. I mean, I'm at a uh, April first. But I'm kind of intrigued the way Justin said it. You know, if it's a Target Master, okay, maybe not the Voyager size or Deluxe, but if it was a Target Master. I might be in for that too. That'd be pretty. And they've sweet. got their fucking plate full. They can't. They, I mean, like you know, I, I I love their product. Don't get me wrong, but they can't get the fucking shit out. And they still got four or five figures they've announced. They 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 had all those. Uh, you know, people have been saying, well, this is a lot of like engineering and stuff to like go through for a joke. But then we've also talked about the idea that that perceptor brainstorm and shockwave was all going through just for the sake of a joke. So I'm going with bullshit on this one. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know it, if that's gonna be. It probably good. is bullshit, but it'd be pretty cool if they do put it out. Do for twenty you, bucks, twenty bucks I would be in definitely. I don't remember per, Perceptor and stuff. I remember the uh, brainstorm they did and the Perceptor. They even came out with a fucking mold. Yeah. So is that was this confirmed? Someone said that this is a. That this was, was Ant- a joke? Antoine. No, it's not. I don't think it's confirmed. But it was Antoine that they were talk- said they were talking about it in the boards, and it was supposedly a fucking jab at fans' project. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, that the. But you know, like, it's like yeah, that that was the perceptor I was waiting. I passed on the KFC one because I'm waiting on this. But you know, like somebody I was just talking to or heard or, um, said that they spoke with a uh, mastermind or a. Uh, through email or some such shit about Overlord, and and Mastermind basically told him, um, just stop looking forward to it. It's coming, but no time soon. <laughs> oh. Wow. So like, if they're that far behind in production, I, I, you know, I, I I doubt that they're even working on anything like this at the moment. I don't know. This seems like the type of thing that you get a little side guy yeah. doing, and you know, you release it in between things. I I. Totally can see this coming, especially like I said, it's if this is a Voyager or something like that. Yeah, this is stupid and disappointing. But if this is a little Target Mastery Megatron, you know, or even like a Megatron that like a uh, MP could wield, so he's maybe I guess deluxe-ish, then uh, I'm okay with it. And I hope it's real because I would I would like a cool little Target Master Megatron. Yeah, I need to hire some more people then. Get their shit out. Yeah, well, it's like Justin said in that, uh, or you know, that interview that Justin brought out or turned us on to, where they said that Mastermind is a pretty small company, yeah. and that they didn't start making money until Hegemon. That was Toy World made Hegemon. I mean, um, Hexatron. There you go. Oh, that's such a good figure. God, yeah. moist. So, uh, any- so gross here when you say it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Greg, do you have a thought on that? Or are you still upset? Oh, he's crying now. I guess we're muted. Yeah, he, he's Sorry, killed dude. himself, I think, no, probably. I'm, not, I'm oh. having fucking issues, though. Um, I have my phone muted again. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not putting too much into it until I see what it is. Um, I, I would like to actually ask, you're probably not listening, and I'm kind of glad you aren't. Um, if you look at the TFW listing for this and you read down the comments, or no, actually it was the, uh, the actual post. The dude says that he thinks this is Vox from the Decepticon Justice Division. Yeah, I and read that too I somewhere. I think you, sir, are, comp- and I don't want to ruin our chances with TFW, but you're a fucking idiot. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to mute my phone again, and uh, I'll be right back in like two seconds. What does... Uh... Anybody, Oscar or Justin or Antoine, whoever, what does Vox transform into in the comics? I have no idea who Vox even uh, is. So. <laughs> either, I, believe, I, I believe he is in electric chair. Okay. Really? So, yeah. I believe, would, yeah. Oh, it says the original character, Voss. Yeah, so yeah, it says uh, fans of the IDW more than MCI original character, Voss, look to be in for a treat. That's what it Vox? says here. Voss. Sorry. 
Mastermind Creations has posted an announcement of a new project in our third-party Transformer form. The new announcement shows off a new figure that transforms into a gun that appears to be an homage to G1 Megatron. However, given that April, tomorrow is April Fool's Day, this announcement should be taken with a grain of huge salt. In the past, Mastermind has used April Fool's Day to tease new project under the guise of something else entirely. For example, Predator Queen and Nightmore for Cyclops. So what could this new figure be teasing? To the newsy. It definitely appears that similarities to certain Decepticon dispenser of justice who is generous when it comes to sharing his face with his victims. Fans of the IDW more than the original character Voss look to be in for a treat. Yeah, it's I, wasn't correcting you. I wasn't correcting you when I yelled his name. I was frantically trying to finish what I was doing and unmute. He's the one that took his face off. Oh, I know he who he is. Needles. Okay, all right. He didn't turn into anything. No, I thought he was the electric chair that they had no, a uh, sky uh, shadow. Different one. And see, so that goes back to the point, like, if this is, they're teasing a project, and it's not going to be Megatron, it'll be something else, like, I'm still okay with that. Like, the idea of a Target Master sniper rifle thing oh. is pretty damn cool. And apparently there is, hold on now, He, uh, Greg may owe this, I mean, he won't get it, because Greg's a fucking dick sometimes, but <laughs> Greg may owe this. Well, hey, uh, Alex, wait, Alex Milne, longtime artist who works along James Roberts on the current More Than Me CI series, has posted some concept art of all the Decepticon Justice Division on his Tumblr page. Certain characters like Tarn have been seen before, but his post also elaborates on how he came up with each character, as well as showing some never-before-seen alt modes for each character, and one of those is a sniper rifle of that sort. Oh. I, I will, uh, I'll put it in the Facebook chat, because I'm on a different computer than the Skype. Oh, so, dude, there might be something to it. Maybe. Um, Speaking of Tarn, where's our fucking Tarn? Yeah, right. yeah. That would <laughs> be I mean, really nice. Third-party companies, when you're done with my... Uh, whoever the fuck I said earlier. Um, I'd like my DJD, please. Yeah, no please. shit. Please. I have a list if you want to email me. We'll oh, dude, dude, you gotta speak their language. language. You have to say Paris. Oh, if you want to me an email, or uh, <laughs> see you there. Ah, you speak so fluent, Ray. Uh, I like when Greg does it. It's like such like a train wreck. I love it. <laughs> well, I'm not uh, racist like Oscar, so right. I mean, you know, it doesn't really. Hey, have you have you heard the shit Antoine's been calling me all night? Shit. <laughs> I'm not racist. <laughs> Asian, so. I know. You know what I did today? I put all the new repo labels I liked into a cart, and it came to seventy some dollars. And I said, I can't do that right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know, man. So, you could, I can't tell you could be two hundred fifty dollars into debt with that shit. Shout out to Reaper Labels. We are Reaper Labels, or um, I think I, I think it actually might be Reaper Labels, but I prefer the sound of Reaper Labels, and I'm American, so I'm gonna say it how fucking please, America. Um, but they've released new sets. These are and, some awesome uh, sets. They're yeah. awesome sets. We're all oh, Reaper Labels fans. All for- uh, I would actually like to think I bought the very first set of uh, Brainstorm labels because um, that shit was pretty instantaneous. Uh, I got an email alert and uh, I hit uh, the button. Oh, they did so. make a Smart Robin. Yep. Oh, yeah. wow. They did something about the face? They did Revolver, yep. Whirl. Uh, I'm in for Whirl. I'm in for Revolver. I'm yep. in for Smart Robin and Diesel, and I'm in for Red Alert. I'm in for Red Alert. Oh, my yeah. God. He has no mouth. This is amazing. Yeah. See, I'm not. I'm not in for world. I, the only one I like on world is the uh, the hollow avatar. Yeah, one. The, that's the, the only the one. Patch. I didn't even put the Hasbro stickers in world. Uh, the only sticker I put on him, I put a faction logo on his cockpit, and I even used a record logo for that. I ended up Dude. taking it off the records logo. Yeah, and Roadbuster. I don't know. Those are the ones I wasn't really feeling, and the Red Alert. I, those oh, aren't really well, the fact nice. that the red alert has all the fire shit on it. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that's the reason that I was in for it. Exactly. I'm gonna have to ask my wife if I can get some of those. <laughs> and the only thing about the brainstorm I liked was the—I mean, well, not the only thing I liked, but the selling point was the faceplate because that bugs I, me. He looks like a fucking oompa loompa. I even like the Megatron ones. I know y'all don't like the Megatron, you know, whatever. But I, I even like—I mean, it makes it look the the two Megatron ones look really good too. So. If those were Voyager size labels, I would love them. Yeah. You know what I need from Ripper labels is a fucking Toy World uh, Throttlebot set. I'm sure it's coming. Yeah. It's been a minute, though. I mean, Grind Rod's been out for a while. I think that was listed, though. No, man. They got to go ahead and do their version of the fucking Magnus now. 
Well, no, they put a um, they put a list up on the on this uh, Facebook group that I don't talk about anymore, and um, they had a list of like what people wanted, and, and they listed what was coming. So don't like you know don't keep saying this because we're making it. And I want to uh-huh. say I saw uh, Grindrod and Aurora on there. Oh, really? It's, but I might be wrong. <clears throat> but I, I, be- I like the little wreck and rule sticker with the, the girl with two Mac tens or. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, the Hollow Avatar. Oh, that's okay. the one from that entire set that I want, but it's, it doesn't warrant me buying a whole set. Hey, the Justin, little... you said you had seventy dollars worth of stuff in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. It it's should add up. Yeah. 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 It, it does. When I was at TFCon, I dropped like uh, two hundred and some dollars on stickers. Oh shit! Were they there? Jesus Christ, man! Yeah, like they gave me a deal too. It came up to like three hundred and some, and they were like, "Look, they were like, where are you from?" And I was like, "Baltimore." And she was like, "Jesus Christ, uh, we got to do something for you." <laughs> was Repro there? Well, I yeah. wonder if they're gonna be. Oh, I don't know if they'll be at the American one. They're a Canadian-based company. Yeah, so. uh, I, I think um, uh, Catherine Prey, I think has some tie-ins with them, and they usually have a, a bunch of their sticker sets. I remember at BotCon, they had uh, a bunch of their stuff with them, so I don't know. Well, I'm hoping that since it's a Canadian convention coming to America, that they'll be here. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. God. That um, makes, that makes but I think awesome this is product. a – I think it's a good – I think, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't have yeah, that red alert looks really good. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, just as a side note, I recently I had the the Wild Rider stickers from the Stunicon set, and one of them got fucking ate up. It was like a soup sandwich trying to get it off. Like it just, it was a mess. And Did I emailed April. I mean, I emailed April, and my sticker, oh yeah, my replacement sticker is already on the figure. Yeah, they sent me a. I I didn't get mine for uh, for an order, and they sent we were sent them to me, and they sent me like you know five or six sheets of Autobot and uh, Decepticon stickers. Just I've yeah, heard just threw uh, it in there. Like I've heard hey, some people. Me some, <laughs> here, here we go with the <laughs> here we go with the handouts. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been using them, man. Sorry, but yeah, the, the you know everybody has the uh, you know everybody. I've, I've been seeing some people complain about like you know like oh, oh man, it's, it's eight weeks. Where's my shit? And they sent me the wrong shit. But I, I, me personally, like I've never had a problem, and everything comes inside of a week. You know, so yeah, I'm sorry. Really. I, I, it's it's a long time to get here, but sometimes. The longest it's ever taken me to get a set from them was like three weeks at one point. Well, that's yeah, it's it's the same day I emailed them, I spoke with April through email, and she was actually really professional on her part. Yep. So I yes. can't be mad at you, girl. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Mad it takes a little. It takes a little while to get to Arkansas, but I mean, that was just one case. Every time I've ordered from them, it's, they've been great. Just that one time, they didn't get here for some reason, and like I said I just I emailed her, and she emailed me back real quick and said, you know, sorry about that. We'll send you stuff out. And then they threw in all that stuff in. It's like, man, you can't be mad at them. Yeah, I had an issue with my uh, eye gear uh, medical specialist. Uh, the chrome labels peeled right the fuck off, and I sent her some pictures. And she's like, "We'll send you a set out." And I've gotten like three sets, for, like three orders from them since then. And I was like, "Man, fucking!" Ugh. And then uh, they showed up like three days ago, just out of nowhere. So right. it took them a little while because I had to reprint some stickers. So cut them some slack. <laughs> And then we move into the last. Oh no no no! We got a uh, we got some comic news this week. Uh, just more of a discussion topic, but uh, spoilers for those. I haven't read Dark Cybertron either, but you can't fucking escape the spoiler of it on the inter- on the interwebs. Um, Megatron's an Autobot now. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Now I know Antoine coming. is mad. I know Antoine is mad, and I think he, that he's I'll... not just mad; he's disgusted. Is yeah, what he is. He's like this is appalling. I was like, damn. Oscar and Greg seem to dig it. So I haven't read it. So without giving away too much for me, like, sell me, sell me on your points of why you like it, the two is, and then we'll get to Antoine to to, to put up a, a battle. <laughs> why well, I like it? Because it's yeah. different. So that's I, it. I don't, well, hold on. No, not that. That's not okay. just it. The fuck? I said one thing. Goddamn. Combat. All right, Greg, right. thanks for being on. You know? Yeah, Greg, <laughs> shit. Fucking, fucking Ultra Magnus. <laughs> no, I fucking... Uh, well, no, I, I, I got into a, like almost 400... No, actually, it was like a 600 and some uh, some post-thread uh, over this very subject over the weekend. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still in defensive mode. Which is funny, by the way. Um, yeah, if you guys saw that, it was, it was pretty good. Um, anyway, um, I like it. It's something different, man. It's not the status quo. It's not 
It's not Optimus is the good guy, Megatron's the bad guy, and it's a natural progression because if you look at, um, I mean, just the series, the way it's not about like absolute good and evil. It's about political views and about uh, yep. two people on the same the same side, but with different morals, maybe right. or like different approaches. I guess is a better way to uh, to put it. And uh, I mean, it's just natural that it happens and. I'm going to be honest. This is just a way to pave uh, another uh, story arc. Uh, there's going to be some other bad guy. And eventually, well, there's Galvatron, but there's probably going to be something else that's going to happen. And eventually, Megatron's going to go back. Right. But that being said, what I like about this Megatron is he is Magneto from the X-Men comic. Like, his same, the way he's written, his same sensibilities, and, like, just the way that his character is developed. Uh, uh, it's... Very reminiscent of Magneto, so yeah, I, I that's why I like it. Oscar, <clears throat> Mister, I can't um, wait for you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, I agree with what Greg says. It's something new. It's something different. It's no longer the regular like a uh, uh, formula, the Shredder formula, as I called it. You know, right. whenever something was bad, Megatron's behind it. It's no longer he's no longer <laughs> to blame. It it it, ush, it ushers away. To give you a new continuity where Megatron and Galvatron are two separate beings, both with their own individual backstory. Like Galvatron's like this fucking um what was he looked at as like um I'm trying to look for the word. It's like fuck me, god damn it. I it escapes me at the moment. But he he has badass. like a legend a what? A badass. Basically, yeah, but he's like this he's like this war like I don't want to say war hero, but like he's like a warrior god amongst the other Cybertronians, you know? And 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 Megatron is Megatron, a guy who, like Greg stated earlier, you know his his methods wasn't, you know, uh, I gotta take over the universe. This is just how it's gotta be. It's more like it was more politically motivated, and it lets anyone who has no interest in politics actually become kind of interested into it because for the reasons that Megatron started the Decepticons, you know what I'm saying? Why he started the movement? His his admission that he he never really won like 90 percent of cybertron that day he actually though he had him he had it won up to the moment when he made his decepticons fight for him right you know and then things went all catastrophic and crazy as it is so you have an opportunity now of seeing megatron like a, acknowledge his sins of the past you got to see him kind of try to win the trust of of a whole ship full of guys that he at one point tried to kill you know, and it doesn't get any better than that than to, than to have the proverbial panel come up in one issue where Megatron's got his fusion cannon or whatever the fuck pointing at the face of the enemy, and they're like, "Oh, but you're supposed to be a good guy," and he goes, "I am a good guy," and he blows his fucking head off. You know, like that's the type of stuff I'm looking forward to seeing a whole brand new take, a different spill of fantastic new direction, and the writers aren't that fucking bad. And to be honest, nothing. Like, nothing made me laugh at Megatron more than when he was laying on Rung's couch and Rung asked him the question, so when was it you thought that you needed to start to dominate everything? Something across those lines. Hmm. So I'm yeah. looking forward to it. And Antoine, are you coming at it strictly from a traditionalist standpoint or do you have something deeper tied to it? No, I mean, mainly it's like, I just didn't see it coming. Like, really? Megatron and Autobot? <laughs> I mean that's that's unheard of, but right, right. I mean, other than that, I mean, you know, it, it, it's always cool to be have a different take on, you know, Megatron and Galatron as a separate, but right, you know. Well, even yeah. in it's the, not, um, it's not more like it's not like a hate or anything like that. Just, right, right, wow. right. Well, even in the old Marvel comics, I mean, there was the one. There were two different Galvatrons. There was the one that was his own independent character, and then there was the uh, the one that. Ended up being from, and see that's why I didn't really like Marvel to be honest. All that time and whole fucking alternate universe shit got confusing. But, um, I mean the the whole Galvatron not being Megatron concept isn't that new, but uh, it's definitely uh, pushed a lot harder in the series than it has series past. Anybody else got any thoughts, comments, courtesies, or concerns regarding this? Nope. Mm-hmm. Copy that. Although it was really cool to see Galvatron rip Megatron in half, that was I was like, "Whoa, what's up?" That yeah, was kinda, yeah, you do. I heard about that. <laughs> that was sweet. Oh, good times. So uh, we save we save the last for last, <laughs> and um, Hasbro's uh, kid logic shows. Uh, 
the fucking the kids logic fucking little figures. I think I might have seen these today. Has anybody else seen them? I haven't even Are they supposed them. to be in stores? I don't know. I, I, I maybe I guess I didn't see them then, but I came across these little boxes. I was at Barnes and Noble. They're no, like there's a pop, the pop figures. Yeah, that's what they probably are. You got them. Um, they're blind. They're blind boxes. Yeah, they got them in Hastings too. Oh, okay, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And oh yeah, those aren't the pop figures, but that's something similar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They got stuff where you can paint. You can paint your own figures and stuff. They come in like clear uh, plastic things. You can paint them and put stickers on or some shit. How what are those? Are what are the blind bag ones called? Because there's people selling them now on the on the Facebook groups. Who's like, I thought I was going to get the ultra rare one when I bought one and I didn't get it. I hate <laughs> um, oh, you know. I can't remember. Damn. We've talked about them before on some iteration of this uh, show, whether it be GC or that other show or this show. I only kept this um, in the notes because I figured like we had to have something from Hasbro. On the actually, show. I, I. If these see, I thought they were going to be 119 a piece because the prime was. But uh-huh. if you get the whole set and they light up, I mean, these would be cool for something. I mean, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I might, I might would be cool for your night. desk or something at work. Or yeah, something. exactly. Yeah, the ones you were thinking about, Greg. That's loyal subjects. Loyal subjects, yes. The uh, the the kids' logic things. Honestly, I kind of dig the Grimlock and I dig Soundwave. The rest I don't care about, but. Yeah, that sound wave looks too. pretty cool to just put them on a desk somewhere, you know. I like, I like Starscream. I would get the Starscream one, probably. I would get those, the Grimlock and the sound wave for my kid, but other than I that, get the I mean, Bumblebee. they don't look just bad. They just, they're just expensive, man. It's 120 bucks for a bunch of, you know, I don't know. There's a lot out there. I'd probably get the Psycho before that, and I'd probably get the uh, start yes. putting money towards that Raptor Squad before I get Did this. you buy that yeah, damn Raptor that RDW Thunder <laughs> 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 I'd wait for Greg? that. I was late for that. that. You'd buy that damn rack and ruin no, for one hundred and eighty. No. No. no, I'm not in on that. I'm not in on that. There are so many people <laughs> hating on that set of figures right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> well, yeah, oh my it's God. not funny at all. It's not interesting yeah, either. I mean, I Ninety dollar fucking repaint, dude. Holy shit! And not yeah. even of an right. old mold you just fucking released. Yeah. With yep. add-on yeah. parts for the one you right. just fucking released. Yeah, right. add- I never had, had the armor or anything else. The add-on of hearts make the robot look dumb. Like, like yeah. they make the they make the the vehicle look cool. Yeah, they make the fucking robot look dumb. Like the big fucking like like I don't know like mutant hands on them and hope <laughs> It's just like yeah, it's silly. You can, it's, you'll, I mean, give it another month before you find someone finds a way to like mod another Hulk crossover figure right. to, uh, to that figure it and fucking. Save yourself one hundred and eighty dollars. It's just so unfans project ish. You know what? Fans project's been knocked off enough. I feel like those add on parts will just get knocked off somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Yep. As I play with my uh, protector set or my not protector set. Yeah. <clears throat> Greg, would you like to uh, head up this uh, this discussion? I would. Um, first of all, I would like to give a uh, big old shout out to. Uh, to Dub K and I am Ratchet. Uh, they will be uh, helping us uh, spread me, our. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me ch- ch- chime in on that too before you. Oh, I will. I was going to give you a chance. Don't worry. I know. I know what page we're on. Yeah. Um. I, uh, you and I know all the secret stuff. Um, <laughs> they're going to be helping us spread our uh, our glorious holy message. Um, uh, and uh, you know, I want to give them a shout out. You know, we talk about Dub K all the time. Uh, we don't very much talk about I am Ratchet just because he doesn't come up. Um, he's a good dude, does a lot of business on Facebook, but uh, most importantly, he is the man to talk to for all your G1 shit. Yeah, he, G1. he treats G1 figures like a fucking fine antique show. You yeah, know, like A grade. Yep. If you get a G1 figure from that dude, it's it's and he says it's squared away. That bitch is squared away. Yeah, he's got some sassy, sexy prices. That son of a bitch. <laughs> but, um, oh, he doesn't have a web. Well, he he has a web page, but he doesn't have like a sales page. He does eBay, um, but most of the time it's just firm sales on eBay. Um, but he does the convention circuit. So, if anyone's listening in the Columbus area, and like I'm in the Columbus area, um, he's going to be at the toy show, the Columbus toy show, that's Memorial on Sunday, 
and I'll be there as well. So if you guys want to um, fight about it, uh, I'll be in the parking lot. <laughs> um, just saying. <laughs> um, Bobby, do you want to add to our shout outs here? I do. Um, Radio Free Cybertron shouted us out uh, on their past show as being one of the, uh, the the podcast groups that they check out. And our, uh, it was, Retro, uh, it was uh, Robo Rob Springer. And, um, you know, they're one of the oldest shows, to, well, I think one of the oldest podcast period, but definitely the oldest Transformer show. And, uh, you know, we're three months in. And, you know, to acknowledge us, you know, we're humbled by it and definitely appreciate it. Radio Free Cybertron, I'm sure any Transformer fan is aware of it. Um, it's a much more kind of like safe show than Shattered Cast, but it was... Uh, it was kind of nice to have the, uh, like the kind of adult show recognize the fucking juvenile delinquents that are in lockup, <laughs> and um, and uh, give them about uh, about about another month before they acknowledge us as being the number one transformer yeah. podcast ever. <laughs> I uh, I just want to say again, I said it on Facebook, I'll say it here. I'm starting to like that Robo Rob Springer guy a little bit more every day. Yeah, it's funny. I don't, uh, uh, we hear some Springer. sensibilities about Rose and Pizza. I like reading uh, like his posts, man. He's kind of funny. Spring, yeah. uh, Rob Springer, if you're listening, like uh, when I was, you know, when I was regularly on GMC, there was times like I, I knew that you had a relationship with those guys, and there was times where what we would talk about, you would end up talking about on the uh, question and answer segment. I used to talk to those guys about, man, I think this fucking guy's taking jabs at me, man. Um, and I, I fucking, uh, <laughs> you know, I was like, God, I, I thought you were coming for me, and I was gonna, I was gonna fucking call the goons on you. But uh, it seems like I think uh, I talked you off the ledge a couple you times. You did, <laughs> you did, you absolutely did. And like, I'm, glad I'm you did, not seeing it, man. Because uh, you know, I, I much, uh, I must have been off the mark, which is not, you know, not uncommon. But yeah, I definitely want to give a shout out to them for uh, for shouting us out, and also to uh, TF Prototype and uh, Encoded Designs. They've They've been showing us a lot of love, and in in the same regard that we might be, you know, having some sort of business uh, cooperation with uh, Dub K and I am Ratchet, where we're, we're also in the talks with uh, TF Prototype. So, shout out to them if you want to look for like new upcoming Transformer news involving prototypes and figures and, and so forth. He's he's pretty quick, um, not the quickest, but he's getting in touch with a lot of people that are the quickest, and and he's. He's pretty on top of it. So he's no uh, uh, Antoine Lewis or anything. He's no Antoine right. Lewis because but we got Antoine. You can't get him. He's ours. Hell no. Um, but this. Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. But but yeah, but he, um, it's a good it's a good source to go to for news. So if you're looking for more TF news, check out TF Prototype. Um, this leads into actually our discussion for the week. Um, yep. You know, like I said, we've been uh, doing a <laughs> we have a friendly relationship with Radio Free Cybertron. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, like the same thing with, like, with I Am Ratchet and Dub K, you know, we're, we're helping each other out and we're, we're trying to kind of build, uh, some, uh, network. unity and, uh, network and, uh, and dare I say community w- within this Transformers community. And so you think about it, everyone wants to call it a Transformers community. You hear that? That's, the, that's, that's the word, um, fandom, but most, most people say community. So my question is, where's the community? Um, if we have to build community within community, then how is it a community? Um, I've actually been dropping that word a lot lately. Um, I actually I was going to do an update to the blog today, and I got sidetracked with, uh, with real life stuff, and I didn't get a chance to do it. But some of the Facebook groups, I've just been kind of dropping it, and some of the answers and some of the responses and reactions I've gotten, um, I'm kind of appalled by. But that being said, I'm not calling anybody out. What does it mean? When you say community, like Transformers community, what does that mean to you? To to me personally, I I, I take it in a very like general sense. Without like it's, I, I take it more of as a synonym for Transformers fandom because it's it's not really like a community at all. It's you know? a pretty bad community. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean it's 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 not you know it, but it's um it's not like say like, not, not to make this a political thing. But like uh, in the fandom, to me, just I'm just making a um, comparison. Like uh, a lot of fandoms are like, uh, well, the Transformers are a lot like Transformer fans are a lot like Republicans, where there are there are a lot of solid conservative people with conservative views that that are are smart when it comes to you know how to make things happen in, in a you know in, in a really strict 
confident way. And then every now and then you get that one psychopath that comes out of left field and says, but rapists, <laughs> babies that were born due wow. to rape shouldn't be aborted. You know, <laughs> or, you know, or, or you know, uh, if, if a woman gets raped and gets pregnant, well, that's God's little blessing. You know, you get that you must one. shop at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you get that. You get that one. You get that one psychopath that comes out of left field, where everybody else in the Republican Party is like, uh, "Look, we're Republican, but we're not Republican like that guy." Whereas, yeah. like, the, <laughs> whereas, like, Democrats are like, they never go against the fucking family, man. They're like the mafia. Like, one of them says something. They're like, you know, we should give all of our money to uh, starving kids in this this island that nobody's heard of, off of the coast of a country that nobody's heard of, in a continent that barely anyone has heard of, and they're all like, "Yep." He's he's one of us. We're going with him. Like a lot of like like Marvel, not Marvel Legends so much, but like um, you know, like the Star Wars people and the Star Trek people and and the, a lot of those other franchises are a, a lot more, you know, that way. I don't know what it is about Transformer fans that like the points of view are so different. It might be because the franchise has been so different over the course of thirty years that has created different fans that are attached to it for different reasons. Um, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely a community in my in my opinion in name only. I think one of the big things also, like you said, it's thirty years of fans. So you got, you know, you've got adults and kids interacting. Like no doubt that there's kids online, you know, on forums and Facebook and all that stuff, you know, hidden behind an Autobot logo. So you have no idea right. what their actual ages or anything. So you know, they. Well, there's some adults that don't argue like adults either, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, they sure don't. Hey, 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 you leave me an Oscar out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's, yeah, but yeah, so you get like, you know, just all the whole breed. And then the fact that it is a nerdy hobby. You've also got the the uh, lack of, what's the what's the word I want to look for? Like a social ineptness going on there. A lot of Personal hygiene. Personal mm-hmm. hygiene. <laughs> well, that that's the con. I'm more so talking about like the community yeah. and why it's not like a cohesive like, community. I, it's a, you know, it, it's a, it's a very much a. I don't know how to be tactful about anything, you know. And so when you disagree with my point, instead of you know discussing it like an adult, you know, like Bobby doesn't agree with what I like, and I don't agree on all his stuff either. But I'm not like, well, fuck you, Bobby. You know, like you're a fucking idiot. You're wrong. Except, except, you except that moron. ultra magnus. That ultra Stop magnus time. You got a, that ultra magnus time. You got a little bit out of shape, but <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. But somebody had to put you in your place. You know, you walk around like the alpha dog all the time. And you're trying to get bitten. That's all. That's all I'm uh-huh. saying. I hear you. Well, what I think it is, I don't think it's a community. It's just a bunch of nerds that have a plastic crack addiction. And you could, I mean, I know nobody, you know, Bobby's been to a BotCon, but you could see at a BotCon how how we're not a really a community because there's cliques within nerds. And that's, Clicks. you know, that's, you would think, you know, I've said that before. That is so how do fucking nerds, ironic. I know, I mean, just how do how, how, these nerdy people that don't, you know, socialize with people have cliques, you know, like your TFW clique, you know, you got your... Mm-hmm. Other boards, clicks, and everything. And I saw this. I'm mean, actually see this at BotCon all the time, and, I, and it just made me. I'm like, you know, I didn't want to even talk. Like, I didn't want to be associated with some of these people. It's like it made me sick to say I love this fandom so much. But then you got the next guy to me that's fucking 500 pounds and can't, you know, walk, you know, past the, uh, you know, 50 feet to get a, you know, a hot dog or anything, and they smell so bad, and it just made me sick to even <laughs> say I'm a fan of this product. And it's just, I don't see it as a community because, like you said, everybody is just, you know, you can't argue with somebody, you know, like an adult, they resort to childish shit and, you know, want to call you an asshole just because you don't believe or agree with whatever they say. You know, you just can't say, well, I just don't like what you're saying, you know, and then instead of going, fuck you, I'm, you know, you're an idiot, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and then just leave. I mean, it's just... uh, I mean, the bottom line of it is like, if you're a TF animated fan, like if that's your thing, from you know, like I, I've you know, I'm TF animated from beginning, to, you know, all three seasons or whatever it is, and that's it. And then you you're you're a Transformers fan, and I'm a Transformers fan, but we're not a fan of the same shit. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and I think you've that, got people G1 are people like that too. You know, you've got yeah, fans I'm, I'm of like G1 that. that just straight G1. If it's right. not G1, you're a fucking idiot. And right. I, so I don't a, like people like that. I mean, I'm a fan of G1, but I like other stuff too. I mean, well, you have I, to broaden your. 
I'm a lot like that. Like, I like G1 and G1-inspired shit. You know, right. so, like, I like G1, mm-hmm. but I also like, you know, the Fall of Cybertron type stuff, too, but that kind of, you know, it, you know. Yeah, you give it a chance, right? You don't, you give it a yeah, chance. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've Some seen people animated, don't even I've seen Beast chance. Wars, I've seen all that, you know, I, well, I haven't seen Beast Machine. There's, there's, there's stuff I haven't seen, but I'm going to buy yeah. it and own it and watch it just because I want to know about it. Um, but, but you don't call them fucking idiots because they lack other stuff. No, some like of them I do. Stuff. Some of them I do. Sure I do. Yeah, yeah. Some, <laughs> yeah. some of them are. But I'm just saying, yeah, there's some idiots out there. But I mean, just, you know, a general person that likes Transformers on the boards, you're not going to call right. them idiots or something no. because they like something different. I mean, that's just – and that's how some of the most – a lot of people are. And it just uh, – I usually don't I, – I, I'll be honest, from my – from my point, I don't even interact with it that much. Like, if, if I'm scrolling, like, I don't get on the boards that much, but when I'm on my Facebook and I'm scrolling down my phone, I usually only check out shit if I saw on there, Greg and Oscar have also responded to this post. I'm like, there's going to be some <laughs> shit in here. <laughs> I'll click on that and, and read through the drama and then have a laugh or two and back out. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the extent of it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. If Oscar and Greg are in the same post at the same time, oh hell yeah. There's oh yeah, you know it's fucking on. Well, and speaking of posts, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, the chick in a uh, certain uh, addiction group. I, I won't say your name or anything, but uh, who posted about how uh, she lost her faith in humanity because uh, Megatron was an Autobot, and oh, uh, yeah, Christ. yeah, pretty much. So that was pretty much the point I made in six moves. And uh, everyone jumped in, and then all of a sudden, like, I was like, look, I'll send you the, uh," she was like, I don't read the comics. And I was like, well, I have all the comics digitally. I will send them to you, and I will try to help you. You know, I'll I'll show you why this is a good thing. Let me educate you. And she did, she pretty much called rape on me. Like, she did everything but blow the rape whistle. She was like, I mean, I don't mean she actually said I raped her, but she's like, how dare you pressure me? And then her little click all jumped in. We're like, uh, you're picking on the, the you're you're picking on the girl. It's a bunch of guys ganging up on a woman. Like, where the fuck does that come from, anyway? Well, that's always um, like that. If you say anything to yeah. a girl at all, well, all these fucking attitude? nerds get on to you. They like, why are you picking where, on a girl? Where are all and these that's exactly what I'm saying. nerds from? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> They're in their own little island, uh, I guess. I when I tried to be chivalrous, I got kicked out of a group. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I tried to be chivalrous without getting some internet fucking booty. But uh, here, here's my deal with the community thing. Like, you try to help somebody out. And, like, like anything. You try to do something for anybody. You try to show a little bit of kindness to someone in this quote-unquote community. And everyone's suspicious. And granted, you can't trust anybody on the fucking internet. I know that. But at the same time, like, I mean, fucking help somebody out. Um, it, it, it's like if you don't buy something from somebody, that, that's the community, buying something from somebody or like fucking ganging up on somebody because their opinion's different. That's what I see the community as. Maybe I'm wrong. And, and that's my challenge. That's, that's my challenge for the week. I'm like the cool substitute teacher. That's my challenge for the week. <laughs> yeah, do something nice for somebody else. Do something for somebody else. Hook somebody up. Fucking help them find something. Well, you know, I don't find some toy you know they're looking for and be like, oh, I got this. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, twenty five dollars plus shipping for a you fucking know, I've legend figure. I've definitely felt right. some some of the community yeah. bit. Like I, uh, you know, like uh, Justin came to my house last year for like a get together and you know spent a good portion of that cookout just fixing some of my toys that could be in better shape. You know, didn't didn't ask for a nickel. You know, we fed him. You know, but you know, he 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 didn't even ask for that. Going to just, eat this shit, motherfucker! No, I don't want to over. Delicious. But you know, he, he just sat there. With everybody else is partying. Well, no, that's not really true either. But I'm drinking. Um, and actually, Justin and I are the only ones drinking. He's the one taking my toys apart, which I probably should have thought about. But he, he you know, I'm drinking and and fucking having a good time. And you know, this this dude's just sitting in a corner, tightening up my Metroplex hips and um, Superion hips and and. Uh, you know, Oscar fucking uh, knew I was in need of a figure and <laughs> told me the price that he wanted to sell it for. And I had, for the first time ever in my life, I'd be like, no, like, I got to give you at least a few more dollars more than that. You know, like yeah. that, you know, and that, that, that did give me that community feel. But for the most time, it's like, you know, it's like, no, here's your, here's your legend swerve. I got a hold of it and it's for 40 bucks plus shipping. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I understand. I mean, I was going to get, you know, when Oscar asked for uh, the IDW Skywarp, 
All I was right. going to send it to him for his birthday. Just say, hey, here. Because he couldn't find it. I was just going to buy it because I have one here. And uh, I have one at the Walmart, at Walmart. And I was just going to buy it and send it to him because it's only like, I think, 10 bucks, And to ship it was like 6 So I was just going to give it to him. I mean, I'll do anything for y'all. And I mean, I'll do so, anything for other people, too. I mean, it just, everybody, you know. um you know, take take Greg's question into consideration and leave us a comment in the YouTube or a post on the Facebook and let us know what you think about Transformers and the trans in, in terms of the community and whether or not it is a thriving community or a positive community or even I, a community by definition. I do. Can I, I do add have some. Go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to add one more shout out actually because it, it, I didn't even think about it until now. It, I mean, it wasn't a shout out until now. Speaking of things that I saw that brought community together, um, he started at like. Two years ago, and if I'm wrong, wrong I'm sorry. Um, I, there's a guy out there, he's a YouTube reviewer uh, named Buster Brenton, or uh, he goes by Brennosaur. And he started this thing called Transform Away. And it was only for one month when it started, um, where basically, like, if you need a figure, you list it on a list. You, you let him know, and he would hook you up with someone else. And basically, people were just sending free figures across the world. Like, it wasn't a trade. It was like if you had a, a fucking, I don't know, Classics Prime and someone in Ireland needed a Classics Prime, you just send it to him. And by the same token, if you needed a, a G1 Gnaw and someone in uh, I remember World, that, like, yeah. Yeah. And then and, and what, a, what, what hurt me was when you saw posts about it and this one guy who's like the super well-known, like, uh, likable YouTube reviewer was like, sure, you must be joking. <laughs> I spent so much time and money putting my collection together. Why would I give anything away? And, like, you see that shit, and you're like, really? You're the guy that's talking about the, the fandom and the community, and you're like, oh, guys, send me free fucking toys. You guys are so great. I'm so It's so good to be part of this community, and then you react like that. But anyway, I think there is a Transform Away Facebook group going, so it's kind of still going. It's not just once a year. Um, but I would definitely suggest anyone look that up. Um, or try to get a hold of uh, Buster Brunton on YouTube and uh, see <clears throat> if he can give you some more details because it's definitely a good thing. It's, it, I, I got a couple of things and I gave a couple of things away. So nice. Yeah. So shout um, out to that. In a, in a, did, Oscar, did you have something that you needed to add? Yeah, I, I did. When it when it comes to the community, like um, uh, Deluxe said it best. When like they're they're in their clicks, and I find that so ironic because a big chunk of us that weren't really the popular kids in high school were really kind of shunned by those clicks. <laughs> you know, they they weren't like you know. I kind of I went through my own shit in my first two years of high school. Then the growth spurt hit, and then two weeks after that, problems went away. But the, the, I, I just find it ironic, like, you know, in these groups, whether you're a group where you would confess to being an addict, you know, or or, or a, a watered-down version of the cafe of a fucking sales group, you know, they have their own little cliques, guys that kind of, you know, merge together and they sell each other good shit or they give each other good prices. But that outsider comes in and they fucking pounce on him with these outrageous prices. Million yep. dollars. You know? <laughs> And then, and then, or you have like uh, sales groups that are that are starting out. They're based on really good fucking online retailers, as far as I'm concerned. I'm talking about the uh, Dubcase, Cybertronian, Delhi, and certain people on there spam fuck the wall every other hour with single posts, just so they dominate the fucking page, <laughs> leaving anyone else that's trying to fucking sell something in the dust because. You know, they, they claim that this is their bread and butter. This is what pays their bills. And to those people in the community that basically get pissed when someone doesn't, when someone quote, wastes your time, dude, no one put a gun in your head and said you need to sell fucking toys for a living. Yeah. And if right. you have to spam Facebook, if that's your business, is spamming Facebook all day to make one sale, then you might need to go back to college. I'm just saying. Or just go get yeah. a job. Make an online yeah. store. Period. You know, uh, to, to sit there and, and see, <laughs> like, you know, and, a fucking and, scalper. And, and and I find it funny because like you know, like uh, when when Matt and, and and Bobby said when they see me and Greg comment on a post, they know they're in it for the lols. They're gonna have a good laugh at it. But the thing that me and Greg get along with the most is that we tend to take two sh we tend to take things like in a on, in a very serious manner. Whether you're a 16 year old asking for a fucking handout, or you're a goddamn YouTube reviewer who just fucking started, and you're quintessentially asking the same thing but offering photographs in return for donations because. You want to buy the more expensive toys, but maybe your hubby won't let you. You know, like people like us speak up on that because if no, if we don't, no one else really is going to fucking do it. There's a handful of others. Don't get me wrong. They there are they're out there. Chris, you know I fucking love you, dude. You're a fucking star stream addict, and that's awesome. But freaking, you know, the the, the fact that the matter is, 
is that if if certain people like Greg and myself don't speak up and kind of put someone that's getting stupid in a community in their place, the community in itself, regardless of where it's being labeled as a community, is just going to crumble away and turn to nothing more to a bunch of degenerates that stand there and fucking blatantly attack one another for no reason. Mm. Yep. You and, and you know what? Hey, man. I, yeah. Think about, us, think about Oscar and I, too, is we don't give a fuck. Like, you can't hurt our reputation as sellers and traders and whatnot because we're fucking solid. Yep. And we already are getting laid. We don't need to fucking talk to girls across the country. <laughs> Pretty much. And we have, we have some friends. You know what I mean? So we don't fucking need you. So, I mean, if you're fucking at like a dumbass then we'll call you on it. We have nothing to lose. What's a fucking, what's another fucking upstart reviewer that fucking doesn't like us? Right. But fucking we, do so appreciate, we do appreciate y'all listening to us. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we do. Definitely. No, we and do. subscribe and buy a t-shirt. Um, <laughs> we'll be a t-shirt. We'll have some more You can send stuff. money to our Kickstarter. Justin. Yes. Uh, if you want to send money to us, <laughs> Justin still wants to go to BotCon. Hey, he, you know, he's still Kickstarter for that. You know, make sure you hit that, uh, you hit the subscribe button on the RSS feed there for the Blogspot account. You know, make sure you take yeah. care of us that way. No, but what I'm, what, what I'm basically trying to say is, man, there's like, a shitload of great guys in there, but like, you know, the proverbial bad apple tends to ruin the bunch. You yeah. know, I hate to sound so fucking cliche, damn near, you know, right, right, right. over dramatic, but that's just how it fucking works, man. You get one asshole that wants to go ahead and oversell the shit out of something, or you get one guy who really wants to fucking wants a better price for something because he doesn't want the figure he wants it for custom or whatever the fucking reason may be. He doesn't want to spend that dime. Fine, move on, dude, but I'm going to let you know you're wasting my fucking time. You know? Yeah, right. Like, I recently bought... Uh, sell me, but I think- you know, like, I, I recently bought Planet X Swoop from a, um, from a gentleman recently who was selling it for one price. And then when I saw that he had another guy who was waiting in the wings, I sat there and said, you know what, man? I heard about the situation. I heard about how kind of fucked up it is. And his prices are shipped, which I adore when people put, post the price for something shipped. I swooped in and I fucking get offered him 10 more dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no that was, pun that was good. I like that. No pun intended. I swooped in and I just fucking gave him a, I sh- I gave him an extra 10 bucks for to go ahead and seal the deal. And I told him, I got this much for you. I could give it to you right now. You know, and, and he saw that and he goes, really? I'm like, yeah, really? I'm not fucking around. I'm like, do I need to go five more? No, 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 no. We do that. Okay, cool, fine. I was willing to cough up five more because it's helping somebody. You right. snipe somebody then. Yeah. Um, oh, Oscar, I appreciate that. No, no problem. <laughs> so definitely uh, this week, chime in with a comment or uh, or write on the Facebook page and, and tell us what you think about you know the community and, and, and your opinion. I'd rather you not – don't chime in with a comment or write on the Facebook page. Just fucking do it. We'll find out. We'll feel it. You know, if you oh, have a man. legitimate enough argument, I got a bigger, a big enough set of balls to allow you to come on here and then let you attempt to plead your case, and then I oh, give yeah. you such a verbal not, thrashing. And the, huh? What? We don't just let everybody on our show. Oh well, we'll see. <laughs> we could do a special, maybe. Um, look, uh, also the uh, we started something on the Facebook page today, where you know, take a picture of your shelves and your pegs. Um, at your local stores or whatever, and you can put them on our Facebook page, and we can try to get some discussion going and, and about distribution and how we see distribution being handled. We can start seeing how you know trucks are making their way across the country or what have you, and um, just for just for like a, a like an experiment. Um, so we we, oh, we put good. some pictures. Yeah, and we put some pictures up there today, and and uh, we got a really good reaction out of it. Also, just to <clears throat> dispel any rumors. Um, there was someone that possibly – this is how rumors get, right? But there was someone who may possibly be linked to possibly some other possible podcast that may have possibly said something negative about us. Oh, yeah. That was apparently taken down before we could get a chance to respond to anybody listening who was worried whether or not we would. We definitely would have responded, and if we find out that it is related, then we will make a direct um, response fucking anyway. Um, yeah, I actually took it down personally because I didn't want our uh, our podcast link to look like a uh, a back alley somewhere where some nerds were getting <laughs> beat up by the big dogs. <clears throat> but uh, right. yeah, if you want to fucking if you want to fucking say you're better than us, then we'll fucking cast off. Especially if I've never fucking heard of you. Yeah, just say so. Um, like like <laughs> there's, 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 there's certain podcasts that like like for instance let me give an example um, Radio Free Cybertron like I listen to it on a weekly basis and I'll give I'll tell you exactly why I think I think they're a little bit 
you know, they're safe and they're very like uh, they give that Hasbro side of things that I rarely get in my life. So I listen to it for the sake of interest. Um, Canadian slag. Uh, sh- shout out to Jaws and, and then like I, I, um, I hung out with them a little bit, but they like I, I actually check to see when they've put up episodes. Like I look bad forward to their show. I'm like, fuck, they still don't have a new episode up. Like I love that shit. Um, and then there's other podcasts out there that I listen to to go to sleep. And we can get into that <laughs> if, um, if, if, if need be. Um, and this is directed at the one that, that talks shit to us, not at any other right. podcast. Uh, you, if, you fuckers have got to tell me off the don't, air. Right. Don't know what you. If, if they're related, they may not be related, but, uh, we think they are at any rate. Um, also, as always, let us know where we can, uh, where we can put the podcast for you to listen to, um. We got other big stuff in the works. Outside of that, uh, Oscar, you want to take us out with an outro? Well, as always, you can go ahead and check us out on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Shattercast Uncut. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter uh, at Shattered. <laughs> Spelled the way you just heard it, which <laughs> fucked me up forever. I was following the wrong Shattered cast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sitting there and I'm going, hey, guys, what's up? And then no reply, who are you? I'm like, dude, it's me. <laughs> And it's like, what, what the fuck? I'm like, what's with the right fucking flying? I sat there and I go, what's with the what's with the really lame gay flying cat? And they fucking blocked me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what a bunch of kids. <laughs> but yes, it's shattered as as you just heard it um, on Twitter. You check us out on Tumblr, our Blogspot account, which uh, Greg from Mercy's running very well. Very good writing, by the way. Yes. Very very good writing. I'm I'm very impressed by you, buddy. It's it's, I do it's so it. hard I do to it believe. Either. I do I mean, it either so, really drunk or really sober. So I mean, and yet know. it's it's pulled off impeccably well. Great execution. It's it's hard to believe I see such great writing at the same time. I could see myself with this guy at a convention, stomping the shit out of some fucking big mouth nerd. So anyway, <laughs> no, uh, I'm not that kind of motherfucker. I'll... You can also check us out on YouTube where we got another episode uploaded. Every, where we upload an episode every week, as well as iTunes, as well as Podmatic. You can look us up under Shattered Cast Uncut, or I think we should put a new tagline: Number One Transformers Podcast. <laughs> Until then, I'm Oscar Alonzo, and for my constituents on Shattered Cast Uncut, be good to yourselves and each other. Bye. You've been shattered. Yeah, without even. Oh, the, oh, the, the one time. Okay, I was, I was wondering. <laughs>